Now everyone gets to watch you set up the thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> For some reason, the only USB-C cord in here is less than a foot long. Uh, yeah, I'm real sorry about that. Way to go. I'm going to have cords just dangling. I need to get from the ceiling. Does this That's work? Does everything work? Not, oh, not that board. That oh, there works. You go. All right. I don't know why I didn't check on that. I'm always at a, I'm always at a disadvantage for this show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you? Want, that's called a softball. <laughs> is that what that's called? <laughs> that pause that you left there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we call in the biz. <laughs> a softball. I'm always at a disadvantage that Mentally. I'm. I'm uh, in your house. It's your right. domain. Yeah. You know, so all your stuff you have ready to go, technology, phone chargers. Do you feel like my beverages. does my stuff looks like it helps me, or does it look like a giant hindrance because it's all over the place? Well, in your opinion? that's your own chaotic uh, organization oh, skills. Okay, like every time I come in here and there's like fifty of Sean's Diet Coke cans. <laughs> Across the table. This table is a. People can't see this table. I'm going to start fining him. Every <laughs> Diet Coke that he leaves behind, I'm going to fine him $5 and five smooches. I mean, like, uh, like okay. What is it? Who? What, oh, God. There's Look at this. There's mold in this. Oh, come on. What are you. <laughs> I'm just, what are you doing? I don't even I know where people, that was. I want people to know that this is what I have to deal with. Oh, you're going to fucking spill all over my papers oh, and shit. documents. <laughs> there could have been mold in that fucking glass, Vito. Way to go. Oh, shit. Nice fucking presentation that you had to how, give. How do you not have paper towels in because here? Because I don't go around spilling. I don't go around doing jokes with other people's stuff. You know what? I actually I had these stacks, see, <laughs> and I was going to get rid of them, but I got distracted by something. What's I got distracted by all these fucking mock-ups you keep saying. Sending me for a fucking shirt, which I've never had to do before. Someone just sends me a shirt, and I'm like, yeah, great, let's go. Okay. I don't have fucking 50, like I'm designing a Toyota ad campaign. What do you think about this one? You better hear or better hear? I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. It's something about it looks messed up. I don't know. Well, that's the reason we've got 100 episodes and we don't have a single piece of merchandise is your... Constantly negging every fucking idea that comes your way. I'm like, well, well then you what? put it on Twitter, and what did Twitter say? Meh. Nah, some people like it. I think they just don't like the colors, and I agree. And the colors are. I don't fuck. I don't know. Maybe it's the colors then. What am I, a fucking artsman over here? No, yeah, you should be at this point. You should be able to weigh in on a thing and go, oh, I would change that or I would change that. No, I just say, oh, I mean, I don't know. It looks, I don't know. It looks, there's a I cool, don't love there's it. There's a cool shirt that we're working on, that I'm working on, mm -hmm. with Dick negative, being a negative Nancy every time I send him anything. I told you, I don't know art. I don't know okay. what to make it look better. Do you want to show like. anybody any of this? Go to the Twitter real quick. Go to my Twitter. See how much fucking time merch takes? It doesn't take that much time if you just go, yeah, that looks pretty cool, or very clearly- That's why it's not clean in here. Or just clearly and concisely say, well, this is what doesn't work about it. I don't As know what to, doesn't work about oh, it, though. No, 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 something. I'm the best client. I say, I don't, I don't, I don't love it, This is just I a mock, this is just why. a mock-up. Like, obviously, it's too tall, but, like, you can say, like, yeah, it's moving in the right direction, you know? It's this, this guy's skin is too white. His, sure. This weird vein is throwing me off on his arm. People have you made some that? suggestions. And I, but I still think the core image works. It just looks like flesh. Look, one yeah, solid flesh Somebody pointed flesh out color. that there's too much flesh. I think making it black and white, and I made a black and white version, is gonna look is gonna look good. Yeah. Someone also suggested putting a tank top on me to break up the amount of flesh, and I agree with that. So we'll try that. How come? Why is my like hairline so ultra realistic? I, because we gave you a fake one and then you wait complained about it. There was a previous version. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And you kept minute, saying it doesn't look enough minute, like you, so I tried wait to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What is, what is going on here, Vito? Dude, you kept Mr. saying. Mr. Vito. You kept saying what it doesn't look like me. Here? And I assumed you meant pull my hairline back hold like an old on, man. Hold on. It looks fine. You're an idiot. You're saying this. Yeah. Is the same, is the same as this? You pull your hair to a different side depending. It's pretty close. I just. Oh, oh yeah. Is I can this, pull is your, this I close. Can, I can wait. <laughs> is this how close is this guy? Huh? <laughs> how close is that gentleman we to this pull, one right we here? We can pull the hairline uh, down. We had the hairline pulled down. This. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. Looks exactly the same. I'm very. Now I have ripped. to fucking edit movies or edit videos here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, right. point is, there's a cool shirt design. 
Uh, and it is cool. It is cool. Well, then just say it's cool. Stop fucking being like, I don't know. There's something wrong with it. There is, there is something. And then you identified a bunch of things that you thought were wrong with it, too. What are you doing? What is this? Didn't I give you an overlay for this two camera setup? Bro. Why is it so hot in here? Is your vent like Bro. broken again? My vent is totally What's happening fine, with the AC? Because right? my glasses keep fogging up. Because you're getting all fucking nervous. No, that's not what it is. Your AC's fucked again. You're trying to gaslight the audience into... <laughs> yeah, I'm real nervous about this. Will you crop the left side? You, I'm always all the way on the left. Like Move this? that right. Move it right. Like that? Do you know what right is? <laughs> Move it that way. It's mirrored. And then, yeah, there. Like so I'm like a little centered. I'm always like all Here, the way in the is corner. This better? There, yeah, that's what you good. want. That right? is what I want. <laughs> Anyway, look. This is a mo this is a this is a first stage mock up. I just wanted to know if people like the 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 basic idea, the jizz of it. If you like the jizz of it, do yeah. a J in chat for well, jizz. Some people people have said they want the actual show logo, so I have another version which uh, we don't have pulled up. But okay, we're gonna mess around with it. Was Point is, you really the, had to make fun of my fucking moldy in the cups, comments. You? Say uh, whether or not. You would like a cool shirt of me and Dick as awesome. I think the black and white one looks better. Yeah, so I'll, I'll that, yeah, I think the black and white would look cool. It's just black, white, and yellow. It just looks like we're like silly putty people in the one you sent me. I, I yeah. The now that you're telling me that other people said that, it, I do agree. The color was yeah wrong, but if we do it, if we do it black, white, and yellow, it'll look cool. Like silly putty with a bunch of pubes all over it. Okay, but see, that's this is the problem. Is I go, what do you think of this? And instead of just articulating, like I think the colors are a little too loud. Uh, maybe we could try toning it down. You go, I don't like it. I don't like it. I I'm don't like, well, know <laughs> that the colors are too loud. What is, like, this How is, do you buy shirts normally? When you go to- I don't. When you I don't buy any shirts. I only have merch or shirts that women have bought me. I do not buy anything because I hate it. I go to the store, I think, that looks fucking gay. No I don't want to- Aesthetic no. pr pr Black <laughs> shirts. Black, why do you think me and Sean are always- why, Sean only wears black shirts because we have the same fucking disability. You guys are retarded. Just fucking look. You yes, we are you retarded. Do you go to right. a museum and you look at a painting and you go, I can't even tell if it's good. Yeah, but I know how I know what makes <laughs> paintings look good. I could describe it. I don't even what know. What makes it look good? It could be a black square, and it would basically be the same thing to me. I know you have that's why the I have an art history and education. Okay, then express I, your that's preferences. Not art. It's a fucking T-shirt. <laughs> it is art. No, you're an it asshole. isn't. <laughs> I apologize to the artist who is hopefully not listening. Well, to Well, you're this. not gonna fucking put like a fucking uh, Ulysses derides Polyphemus on a T-shirt. That's not a Maybe good T-shirt. You would. I don't know if you would. Uh, we're gonna end up just putting the logo on a black T-shirt because that's that's it. It's just gonna be the show logo on a black shirt. Any amount of creativity, fuck that, because that's what you morons want. Fine. Black logo T. Congrats. I, I told you it would be a mess, didn't I? Everything's a mess. Look. It's gonna be great. Start the show. As you know, speaking of messes, what? we might end up do be doing the live show for 107 because I'm going to Nick Rikita's show next week. No, <laughs> dude, we can't. The live show has to be 108. <laughs> you guys kept fighting me on that. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> we have to do it. Oh my god. Oh, well, we gotta do an early episode. Problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from Bill Passers lasting too long to shit that's built all wrong. I'm your host, Dick Manish, and joining me as always is Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. That was from Manny Muskets. That's what's going on. I don't know. Just been having fun. What's going on in the uh, in bunny? Any new bunny news? Or <laughs> in the a lot of bunnies. There's been a lot of bunnies. Has the, There's been a has, lot of bunny action. Has Doctor Who, What, When, Where, Why uh, mm. parked his uh, retardus anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> See, because those are the elements of a good plot. Yeah. Do you get it? The various <laughs> questions <laughs> to ask of your character. <laughs> That was a little brain joke, and then the retardist was for the Shane McGillis fans, mm. right? Shane you gotta get them Shane both. Shane Gillis is killing it right now. Oh, it's not Mick Gillis? No, it's not Mick Gillis. Shane Why Gillis. did I think that? I don't know. Maybe he is Should Irish. Be. Maybe he's Irish. He probably wouldn't have got kicked out of SNL if they knew what was good for him if he was Irish. No, he, he, he insulted the Asians. You can't get away with that. Oh, yeah. The worst part is, that was pretty funny, the bit that he got banned for. Asians, uh, Did you ever hear it? No. 
It was him talking about going. Let's, yeah, let's it hear it on our yeah, YouTube let me do channel it that so has that not they can been. Clip it for me. <laughs> <laughs> but he was talking about you know, comedian banned for <laughs> same joke that same Shane McGillis joke. was banned for. He was talking about going with his girlfriend to like a Chinese restaurant. Okay. And she started doing like an offensive Chinese accent. Yeah. Saying like, oh, I can't wait to eat neuter. I love neuter. And he's like, baby, you can't say neuter in here. <laughs> you say noodle, you know? Women. Oh, Chinese and neuter is so tasty. They do do that. They do do that. Okay. So it was dude, literally like, him Can you stop admonishing his girlfriend for racism. Can you stop doing that gay voice? That's the what he place? got canceled for. Um, <clears throat> well, maybe it was a women thing then. Women That's why everything. he got canceled. So like, oh, we got him. We got He's him. He's actually chastising a woman, but mm. we're going to get him on the Chinese thing. I mean, it is funny the way they pronounce words, right? I have never <laughs> I have never heard an Asian person care even a little bit about their accents getting made fun of. See, that's the thing. It's, never, because they're too yeah. intelligent, because they're smarter than everyone else. It's one of those situations where actual, like, native-born Asian people are like... Yeah, we do talk differently. That's funny. <laughs> it's amazing. You and guys then, figured out the L to R thing? Huh. <laughs> we we, we still have trouble with that. Can you believe it? You believe it? But then, I mean, uh, <laughs> I did it again. But then it's like, it was like, you know, American born Chinese who bill. go, my <laughs> racial identity is being destroyed by this. Yeah. And it's like, he's, come on, man. Come on, lady. Shut up. Shut Did up. You? Okay. Um, I forget how we do this. We're in uncharted territory, by the way. Mm. I've never done a 105 of, um... I, oh. Yeah. What, what happened on the previous 105? Was that a clip show? And then 106 was a clip show. Well, if you yeah. want to leave... You want to do a clip I'll show? Just put up some cl- I'll just play <laughs> clips. <laughs> Everybody loves clips. <laughs> Here's me playing Zelda. Why was it a clip show? Were you out of town or something? Maddox wanted to... No. Uh, Maddox wanted to... I, I don't know. He wanted to hunker down... And work on his Madcast Media Network, and doing an hour podcast would have interfered with that. Wouldn't it have been easier to do an hour podcast than edit together a clip show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, big time. So he made more work for himself with the excuse of needing less work? Yeah. Um, And then I I wasn't allowed to do it with just another co-host, you know. Which would have been fine. Would have been totally fine. So did somebody else edit the clip show together for you guys? No, he edited it. What the fuck's the point? That's a, wa- that's a huge waste of time. It's a way know. bigger waste of time than just doing an episode. Uh, so this is a big, this is actually the start of the firsts for me. It's 105. How about that? Wow. Yeah. Dang. Uh, okay. Last week. Lack of congressional term limits. Big winner. Which I got the, I don't know if you got comments where I got the, the length of a term wrong. I didn't even notice it, but I think I, I said two years. For Is it six years or four years? Oh, you. Uh, I think it's a longer. Yeah, it's six. It's six. That's yeah. what somebody said. So you you didn't. I thought it, this would have been a case of like you knew, but you just said it in the moment, and you're like a oh, toy. But now you're coming back and well, I blowing that out. No, of the here's water. what happened: is I looked it up because I thought it was longer, mm-hmm. and then for some reason, whatever source I found said two, and I'm like, oh shit, terms are only two limit two years. You had to look that up? I did have to look it up. I didn't remember how long a term was. For which one? Do you remember now? For Congress. Or wait, is it different for the Senate? Is Senate two-year terms? Just go ahead and list them for me. Maybe it was Senate is two-year terms. Just list the... You tell me how many... (laughs) First of all, tell me how many branches there are. Uh, Well, there's five branches, of course. (laughs) Military, (laughs) a library... Uh, January. Subway. Subway. Uh-huh. <laughs> the subway. Program. President, you know how many years? President. And yeah. you know how many years he's got, right? Right, ten. Okay. Ten at a time. Now you're, now you're playing it off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get uh, elected to the library branch. Senate the has, part uh, of the government. two or six. Which one? I feel like I'm training my dog. Well, Senate right. would be two, then. And, and, how, and the Congress six. has how many? Six years? You nailed it. You nailed it. You All nailed right. It. So I got it back. So it is two-year terms in the... Senate. Senate. Yeah. So that's what I got wrong. Uh, then women's dating advice. Okay, well, yeah, I guess congressional term limits are worse than that. Uh, <laughs> although I don't think that would fix anything, but whatever. Rickety shit. Uh, you still got to go to that thrift store. I almost went to before the show. 
to that the Saint that Saint John's, whatever John's whatever it is. Yeah, they got good shit, man. Uh, and then watching a man drown, obviously, at the very bottom, I think negative because where what's like the most entertaining thing there is. <laughs> I find Both it tragic. literally and figuratively. Look, I see the entertainment in it, but it's a tragic form of entertainment. A guy going, hey, check out this water. I'm going to go jump in it. And then <laughs> drowning. If you're like, that's, yeah, that's classic comedy. Actually, that's Looney Tunes over and over and over. Check out this fucking road I'm gonna runner. Run, I'm going to go nail I'm him. I'm going to run right into this tunnel <laughs> and nobody can stop me. <laughs> oh, we could have warned you. You should have seen this coming because you've literally done it. A hundred times I'm before. I'm gonna kill this wabbit. Mm. Go for it. Oh, I blew my own. Oh no, my off. gun went around. I put it in the hole and it came out behind me. <laughs> right up my ass. Right up my ass. Um. <clears throat> okay. Benoit says Dick impersonating Maddox with Vito impersonating Eric July was top tier. Indeed, that was pretty good. Indeed, it was. Um. Special Ed class says I hate how happy I was for Vito losing weight. I think the parasocial. Uh, relationship is in full swing. Yeah, I feel uh, now I'm uh, now I'm nervous. Why? Because like before it was like, oh, he's gonna fuck it up. Yeah. You know, so there's no pressure. Okay. But now there's like a chance of winning of winning the weight loss contest. Oh, yeah, you're right. So now everybody's like actually like into it, and they're like, you know, because before it was like he's a fat piece of shit, nothing's gonna happen. Now people are identifying. Now people with are you. like identifying. Now if I, fit, it's like, <laughs> do you know that Boogie lost so many of his fans because he got that gastric bypass surgery? Really? And everybody was like, everybody had that parasocial relationship where they're like, I'm so happy, yeah. that Boogie's gonna be skinny, <clears throat> and then it he does, it up. It does get better. It, yeah. Like that was the narrative, you know. Even a guy like Boogie who suffered his whole life, he's got the gastric bypass. He's gonna, you know, lose a bunch of weight. You know, we, we can I all could better be a big ourselves. Fat piece of shit, but if I could afford that gastric, <laughs> I'm just good that he did it, right? At least, yeah. At least this guy who's clearly troubled or whatever else, at yeah. least he's taking steps to better himself. Uh huh. And then he started a diet of Snickers bars and fucking maple <laughs> syrup, and he ended up like basically the same fucking weight. And it's and then they his whole audience it off. was like was crushed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that there were. I think some of them were mad, but I think a lot of them were just like, I can't watch this anymore because it's like, it's like it's watching depressing. a it's like watching a movie about a guy who fucking fails at the end. <laughs> so unsatisfying. Yeah, it's very unsatisfying. That was how I felt about the, all these reboots are basically doing that. I watched the whole Perry Mason reboot, oh, like yeah? the whole season, and constantly during the thing, they're like, they're saying, well, people don't just confess on the stand, you know, mm. telling him, and I'm like, oh man, this is really going to be awesome when this it's guy gonna be awesome when he the gets stand, a guy to confess on the stand. Leaves the stand, mistrial, and he's like, well, technically I win, and I'm like, oh, well, I fucking lose. <laughs> <laughs> Me, the viewer. You guys not understand? <laughs> <laughs> I know that a mist. I like. Yeah. Right. That worked in Rocky. It worked in the Bad News fucking Bears. It doesn't sure. work in Perry Mason. Yeah. There's been a lot of this like modern Hollywood writers being like, well, but realistically, this would happen. It's yeah. Like, I'm Actually, not, failure I'm is not cool. here for realism, man. I'm here to see a guy with a laser sword fight bad guys. You got to win something. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I think these guys are all like weird little losers themselves and want to justify their own shitty lives. Yeah. Or they go, well, actually, it's like I won. It's like, no, your wife left you because you're a piece of shit and you're not allowed to see your daughter anymore. Uh, <laughs> you blew and it. And then you wrote this <laughs> shitty movie. Yeah, you blew it. Exactly. You blew it. Uh, Unforgiven says the guy who super chatted to get Taylor back was right. The show with Taylor on it was amazing. Easily the three funniest podcasters in the business. Wow. All Taylor right. has a very interesting, like, devoted fan base. He does because he does all those racist voices. Is that People what it love is? love that shit. Yeah. Taylor could go to Vegas and replace, like, Danny Gaines. <laughs> It would be like Mercadirk Taylor yeah, he should uh, have from puppet. PKA yeah. and, and his 1,000 <laughs> racist, racist Chinese voices. voices. <laughs> and then he has like a, a thousand different I think he did do characters. the racist Chinese voice when I was on there talking about my uh, comic, the comic guy who drew my head tie cover. <laughs> he has like a phone book, like a Chinese phone book <laughs> from Chinatown. All right. Give me a page. People love Stop. Taylor. I, oh. I always see in the PKA comments where they're like, Taylor's carrying the show. I'm like, wow. They're really mean to the other They're guys. They're really mean to the other guys. <laughs> They're really mean to that FPS Russia guy. What's the what's that guy's Kyle, name? Kyle, the guy who went yeah. to prison. The guy who went to prison. Is he just like not allowed to make gun videos anymore? I guess. I don't think he's allowed to do anything anymore. Yeah. 
So he's just broken. That sucks. Yeah, it's fucking government, it's like, man. Yeah, the way he was making money and being popular has been taken away. It's like if he told me I couldn't talk about Star Wars movies anymore legally. If only Liberty Safes uh, had a different uh, term. <laughs> if only they handled uh, warrants differently, then uh, no, then the government oh, would no. never fucking destroy anybody's life. <laughs> you know, the government can't possibly get into a locked safe. <laughs> we get in that safe. Without the help of a safe. Yeah, company. sure. Here you go. Can we get in that safe? Uh, actually, I'd like to. No, don't worry about it. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> I was really confused about the safe. Like, it's like. Uh, I, I, you weren't. Newsflash. You yeah. were not confused, as it turns well, I was out. I confused about the outcry. Or I'm like, well, if they don't give them the code, they'll, they'll just smash it. Smash into it. So. Well, yeah, but then they're, they're going to buy me a new safe when I'm I'm going to get out of jail and I'm going to write them a, a, a yeah. letter. Me and, you know. I guess uh, it's the, the job of the safe company to inconvenience the government. You, I guess you could make that argument. I just don't see it as like. They've destroyed liberty because they didn't, you know, waste an hour of the government's time. The government's getting in. Don't worry the about it. The government's going to get in to your fucking safe. Like, the Doesn't safe is matter there if for you say no. prevent burglary, not to prevent the fucking government from getting into it. Yeah, somebody said, well, yeah, they have a master key because people, like, kids get locked in safes, and they're, they're calling and going, my kid's locked in safe, I need to get out now. I forgot the combination. People just yeah. forget their combination. And somebody said, well, if your kid gets in the safe, you're not responsible. Like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that'd be a great press release. <laughs> well, they, that kid died because they shot themselves or they were locked in a fucking gun safe, but, you know, really, if you're not responsible enough. <laughs> we could have gave him the codes, but our dedication... To not releasing that information. The fourth Amendment. Necessitated <laughs> that that child must suffocate and die. I'm going to yell out about it on my show. Uh, Jay Christian said, the fear of being sued into oblivion has done a number on, on Vito's metabolism. Yeah. You don't eat a lot. Glory Hole Connoisseur says, I'm rooting for you, Vito. I'm also a lard ass at 326 pounds, hmm. but I'm down from 341. We can both do this. Don't you think if you were 341, you'd feel like always bad that you never hit 350? <laughs> I don't think so. You know, I, I don't know if you'd feel bad. I feel bad that I hit 300. Let's put it that way. You know? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm not. Like I, if you I hit 299, you'd probably feel I mean, worse. I'll say this, though. If I get back down, it will be like I can tell people, you know, I used to weigh over 300 pounds. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to end up putting it all back on. Jillian Seed said his impic face was funnier than it had any right to be. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, oh, I'm we, so happy we're doing the show, Nick. Oh. Should we play this? Uh, sh should we play a, a Vito's Twitter? This is a kind of a funny one, though. I don't know if this is a Vito's Twitter, <laughs> but it is a video that was posted on Twitter. Oh, you have some yeah, tweets? I have some tweets from you. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess to set this up is uh, Eric went on a podcast called SOS. Yes. Alongside Destiny. SOS is right. Uh, it is a terrible podcast. I will say oh, that. Oh, okay. And uh, some some fans of the show, or I don't know who it was actually. People were bunnies, sending in, my bunnies. There's a lot of bunnies in the chat. Yes, that was great. Destiny gets on and says, "Oh wait, aren't you the guy? I heard about you uh, from on Vito and Dick <laughs> from the Biggest Problem." Yeah, <laughs> Destiny brought us up, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I heard about you." Uh, Vito and Dick say you have a shitty comic book. And Eric's like, yeah, those guys are uh, some busters, you know. Uh, Straight up they gangster. Have a, they have a beef with me. I, d I don't know anything about that. Straight up gangster. Dude, dude, we got shooters all over to say insult to you. Dude, 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 dude. Unfortunately, this, nowhere. this show is so terrible <laughs> that I was like, man, Eric and uh, Destiny will probably go at it because they're like very different people. Yeah. But instead, the host is like, all right, today's uh, topic is a uh, What's everybody been buying? And there's like 12 like buying. Instagram model women on the show. And I'm like, uh, you're asking women about their shopping habits. Oh God. So do not watch this episode. Thankfully, I, I did clip out. There was nonstop bunnies in the chat the entire <laughs> time. Thank you all. Thank you for the your bunnies. Bunny army. Dame Pesos screenshotted it a bunch of times. And it's just nonstop <laughs> fucking bunnies <laughs> screaming by. Destiny goes, what's with all the bunnies? <laughs> <laughs> well, as the show was what going about on, those bunnies indeed. Some people had some super chance uh, to ask. I, also, the host, I was like, 
Eric's not promoting good. He didn't even get to talk about that. He barely got to talk about the comic. Thankfully, yeah. the Super Chats uh, tried to get him talking about his comic and help him promote okay. the rip verse And you've compiled these Super compiled Chats these, from the SLS the podcast, which is, a big, which is a big show. Oh, yeah. It's got like 70,000 views or something. I would certainly hate to be embarrassed in such a way on a big program uh, like this. It's embarrassing. We're just asking <laughs> Here questions we go. about Here's the Here's Super Chat number one. Then we have Vegetable Spy 94. What's ISOM's superpower? Can he fly? Uh, then we have Dare. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he, I don't know why he didn't answer the question. Just go. Can well, actually, fly? actually, uh, he can't fly. For, as a matter of fact, well, we had more. Actually, you can find out at superkiller.org yeah, or whatever his name is. You can learn all about him. But uh, Eric, did not, Eric did not answer the question. ISOM. Yeah, what is ISOM superpower? That's the other thing. The host did not know. Uh, ISOM. It's confusing. Okay, here comes uh, another. Topic co co conversation came up next. Here comes another bunny blaster for you. Air Chrome Backer, let's talk warehouses and warehouses related things. Matt B. <laughs> 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 oh, look at his fucking face. Just wanted to talk about warehouses. <laughs> Well, he should have taught. He has a warehouse. Why not talk about it? I don't know why he's quiet on all these questions. He was talking about it in the, on the show. He did talk about the warehouse a little bit. Yeah. They asked him, what have you been buying? And he said, well, I've just been working on my warehouse. Yeah, warehouses literally was his answer. <laughs> warehouse. I've been uh, spending tape. a lot of time in the warehouse. Uh, like, you know that, like, caution tape that you put on the floor? Mm, like, a lot of that. I bought a lot of that. Yeah. Been moving shelves around. Uh, okay. Can you thank Eric July for the great comic? Thanks for working on the International School of Ministry to bring troll. ISOM. Then we have vegetables. He did call that one out as a troll. troll that yeah, one he, he got was, it. He thought yeah. it was a troll. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the other ones were legitimate. He had to, he had to say that because in his mind the lawsuit would be affected by that ah, comment. That's true. That's he's why gonna, he, he's got to come out and say it. It does say, uh, it does prove there's confusion in the marketplace though that there, he's getting these super chants. Oh man, that was so funny, guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, Eric July uh, made a podcast appearance again, insulting someone by comparing them to the trickster god of the animal kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very bad plan. This is what did you call this one? Uh, uh, I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. Look at all these, and this bunny and sometimes turtles. Sometimes turtles. Constant. <laughs> This is legi this is uh, legitimate tortoise interference right here. <laughs> there is a lot of tortoises interference in the chat. Uh, I don't know, man. We were just in the chat having some fun. I didn't even say anything. Uh, I thought about sending a mean super chat, and I didn't. I restrained myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody else was having so much fun. Let all the bunnies do let the, the talking. Let the bunnies have fun. Let's see. Okay, I think that's. Do you want to go? Sure. You go first with your problem. Dick, my problem is something I'm calling Bible truthers. <laughs> People who believe the Bible is a legitimate historical document right. that accurately tracks. Well, it is. A well, it's a historical legitimate historical document, document a yeah. legitimate, accurate historical document. Mm, not so much, I would say. Uh, I, uh, I can go ahead and help you with this. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 At no time has a man ever uh, duplicated wine and fish and shit like yeah. that. Or there's walked a, a on a liquid like surface. That. Now, I find this interesting because there's a certain uh, internet personality who's been mad at me lately, an up-and-coming uh, Christian psychopath named Melanie Mack. Remember her? <laughs> you know what? I thought, um, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's very mad because uh, I've she's called mad. her out in the past for making videos where she brings up her favorite Bible verses to say, well, this is how we know the gays are satanic, you know, because oh. they're sodomites. And then reads, of course, yeah. the famous uh, she's passage. She's jealous they're getting all that dick. She can't get none of that dick. She's I got mean, a gay man brain in that in that <laughs> Down syndrome looking face. She's got a gay man's brain in there telling her to get some dick, and she can't. I just find it's like, man, you I got really that thought, crummy old uterus. I really yeah. thought the religious people were like getting past the. Well, I have to hate gay people because the Bible says it. You know, <laughs> me too, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I really thought we were really past what, that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but then they did that dang old mm, gay marriage thing, and it yeah. really riled them up. And I said, please don't do that gay marriage thing. Yeah, you guys don't want to get married. Upset. Trust me, it's horrible. <laughs> 
And now they have to go back to hating gay people. And you go, well, why do you why do you hate gay people? As I always say, I'm like, so you're telling me that you're infinite, to totally free, the god of the cosmos that created everything, that created stars, burning piles of gas, billions of miles apart in space. Yeah. You think that guy's sitting up there going, man, I hope those two guys don't fuck. That would really piss me off. Yeah, actually. Oh, yes. now they're having a parade. <laughs> Damn it. I really don't. Th I think that the infinite being of creation mm -hmm. probably just doesn't care about most of the shit we're doing. <clears throat> I can oh, see him yeah. being like, don't kill each other. You know, I made you guys don't do that. I don't know how, why we would care about the butt fucking so much. Anyway, I just want to see a Melanie Mack and another Down Syndrome girl scissoring it out. <laughs> I just want to see down to cl call, Melanie call Mack down to clown. Yeah. They're both wearing clown suits. You know, I think in uh, I think in like twenty years when she's one of those melting church ladies whose whose hatred has uh, warped her skin. Yeah, oh, Satan is, is real. It, mm, pedophiles? Mm. Why do they talk about Satan all the time? Because Satan's really not a big part of the Bible. Uh, like he's in there occasionally, but even like. I, I, what do you call it? Isn't it like the biblical uh, translation of Satan not like a guy? It's more of like a concept. Yeah, I, I, it gets a little shaky because it's, you know, all, all so many Christianity different texts. Is, well, it's all mixed up with like fucking Dante's Inferno, which is not an actual religious text. Yeah. But people like legitimately think like, I don't know, some Italian wrote a book about all his political enemies and them burning forever. Yeah. Let's just make that part of our religious canon for some reason. They really they really slid in there with the whole dogma thing. Like, yeah. well, whatever you make true on earth is true in heaven. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, do you hear what God anything. said? Like, I didn't really, I didn't hear God said, will you kill that fucking guy? The point is, uh, I saw today on Twitter that Melanie Mack is going to start having Bible study uh, she called you a pedophile, readings. by the way. Well, of course, she, she said you were dangerous to kids. So just want everyone to know that. A lot of people uh, have been saying a lot That's of That's when I first noticed how Down syndrome she looked. Uh, I'd say more harmful to kids is Melanie Mack's stupid Bible study, where they will learn some of my favorite biblical passages from this 100% accurate book. Okay. Now, speaking of the sodomites, uh, of course, this was the angels who visited the town of Sodom. A town yeah. that was, you know, so lustful that they saw these gorgeous angels and they said, Hey, Lot, we know you've got angels in there. You better let us in there so we can fuck them, right? Is that what happened? That's what happened. Hmm. Angels came <clears throat> down to Sodom. They stayed in Lot's house. Why did the angels house. choose to look so attractive? They're just angels, man. They just look good. They can't turn it off. They can't look like guys? No, they have to look like perfect angelic beings. Like but like androgynous. They're not supposed they're not supposed to look like hentai. I think they looked like hentai like little cat boys. No, I don't I think they had a little ears. Well, cat boys is androgynous, <laughs> so I guess yeah, that's true. Thankfully, Lot <laughs> all angels are cat boys. Dick, I don't know if you know this story, but Lot had a, a plan to fend off the people who wanted to to fuck the angels. Do you know what Lot did? Come on him. He said, well. Jack off on him. Close. You gotta, you gotta. Uh, Get naked. He said to the mob, listen, you can't just fuck these angels, but I have two virgin daughters. Oh. Why don't I just let you rape the shit out of my two virgin daughters? Me, Lot, a man of God, trying to protect the angels. I <laughs> offer up, <laughs> rape my children. Sounds like Lot's trying to. <laughs> Sounds like an un uh, used car lot. He's trying to unload some fat chicks on these guys. Hey, guys, got a bunch of angels in here. Where those angels? We want to rape them. Ah, well, you can't, but you can rape these fat girls. But yeah. You can't rape my daughters. <laughs> they're a little bit on the heavy side. Wow, these girls are fat as hell. No, they're not fat. The angels say they look great. The angels, and the, then, the angels really liked them, so you guys must want them. They have amazing personalities, That's too. That's where the term car lot comes from. That's why they're considered so shady. That makes sense. They're associated with lot, the what? creep. What Wrong. race was he? I assume Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> is it I mean, I'm, I'm, to I'm not gonna. I don't want to reach too far. A player in the Old Testament. <laughs> Jewish. I don't want to. I don't want to go out on a limb here. But I'm gonna go with Jew. <laughs> uh, is just my. You have to say ish. It's yeah, not. Jewish. You can't All say right. it like that. And of course, as they ran away from the burning city. Which is bullshit. It was like, well, don't look at the burning city. It's like, why not? The whole city's on fire. I want to awesome, look. Though. Yeah, yeah, of course I'm going to look. So his wife turns around and looks, turns into salt. First of all, bullshit. The way it happened was, hey, honey, look at that. Look at the burning city. I'm not doing that. God said not to do that. 
Uh, it's pretty crazy, actually. I'm looking and it's cool. Describe it. Fucking buildings shooting around. You gotta look for yourself, baby. Just a peek. A lot really, said you can peek. A lot really convinced her. He's like, I looked and everything's fine. Uh, there's a shoe also sale look. that there's what a shoe really? Sale. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, Lot, you know, who was worried he would not be able to procreate, his daughters did then get him drunk and have sex with him. Awesome. Therefore, preserving the family line. Like that the is Thorps. Like the story. Grace Thorpe and her dad. <laughs> it's the story of Lot, which you, maybe you'll be able to talk about that. Is on that what you're doing? Like, like Max Bible study. Like, you take this Bible, guys, because here's a verse that's like retarded. The whole thing is retarded. That's it's hilarious. How yeah. can anyone think this is a real thing that happened? <laughs> I don't think they do. And even if they it did do. happen, that means your whole religion is fucked. You should want it to have not happened. You should go. No, that part where he fucks his own daughters and tries to give them to a rape mob hmm. that was a metaphor <laughs> that should be your argument oh i see you're making I the see. wrong argument like this literally <laughs> happened oh then all of your ancestors are fucked and your entire religion is nuts hmm. that's anti-semitic though the uh, we got a lot of good <laughs> circumcision stuff in here uh god was going to kill moses because his son wasn't circumcised thankfully yeah. his wife acted quickly took a sharp stone and cut off his all penis? that penis well you know the penis skin Acted what quickly. else is a penis? <laughs> it's partly skin. Part of the penis. The best part is the skin. Was, uh, cut off. The part that I care about. God uh, also says that, and here's here's a little advice that you should circumcise the foreskin of your heart. I'm not sure exactly what that means, like but with that, Mountain Dew this code will, red. What does that mean? Bring you closer Ozempic? to the does Lord. That do that. Now, did you know? I did not know this. Is that? Uh, did you know that if you are uh, wounded in the testicles or have lost your penis that you should not go. You're not allowed in church, according to God. Oh, good. He, I've been kicked in my testicles. Yeah, he who is wounded in the stones or hath his privy member cut off yeah. shall not enter into the congregation oh. of the Lord. So and stay your out. penis cut off? How much penis cutting or off was happening? have your penis cut off. I, don't, I think a lot of penis <laughs> cutting off was going on back then. I guess I mean I could I could I could easily see me having gotten my penis cut off for a various. It's just like back then they're like I don't know what to do today. I'm pissed at Tom. Let's cut off his penis. Like it was just like their way of settling debts. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, do you know about the golden hemorrhoids? <laughs> No. Okay. The golden so, Corral hemorrhoids. <laughs> this is you shit so much. This is a complicated one. Hold on. So. Uh, the Philistines smashed the Israelites and stole the Ark of the Covenant. We know that. Okay. Uh, and brought it to the Temple of Dagon. Okay. Uh, but Yahweh was upset with the Philistines and gave them all hemorrhoids. Okay. So the Philistines said, what do we do about all these hemorrhoids? <laughs> okay. <laughs> And the priest said, first, you got to give the Ark of the Covenant back to the Israelites. Why is this not an Indiana Jones? This is great. The hemorrhoids? Yeah. Indiana Jones and the golden Indiana hemorrhoids? Indiana Jones and the hemorrhoids. Yeah. Give them back the Ark of the Covenant and give them five golden statues of your hemorrhoids. So they created golden tributes in the shape of their hemorrhoids. And what? along with, Are you serious? Yes, and along with the Ark of the Covenant, they returned this to the is that a uh, correct Israelites. translation? Well, the word is, it specifically says that God gave them, so the term is emirads, right? Which, I don't know. Well, I'm telling you, in the Bible, emirads, which can be used to describe boils or like swellings from plague, okay. but the Bible specifically says they were afflicted by emirads in their secret parts. Okay. What else is an emirad in your secret part if not... A anal yeah. hemorrhoid. <laughs> so the priest told them, give them back the ark. Yeah. And God's really pissed. So you got your hemorrhoids make, off on it. Well, I don't know if they cut them off and cast them in gold or I think they had to look at them and be like, all right, it kind of looks like this and then make like a gold replica and give that again to the Israelites. I can see that to happening. Make right with God. I can see that happening though. Uh, so this is this is all very important stuff. That people need to know. Clearly, you should be getting life lessons mm -hmm. from this thing. Also, okay, all these people talk about how, you know, like kids are the most sacred thing and, you know, you gotta yeah. protect kids, which I agree with. The Bible hates children. Oh, wow. It's constantly burning children and drowning children. Killing them for fun. And killing, yes, God kills children all the time. Mm -hmm. 
Here's one that I liked. Uh, the time Elijah went to Bethel. Now, Elijah was a bald man, which is, of course, horrendous. We hate the bald. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Me and myself, as a man of luxurious hair, I despise them. Uh-huh. As he's walking along the road, some juvenile boys came out from the town and oh, cheered You're going to say him. something else. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They said, get out of here, baldy. Leave our town, you bald bastard. Yeah. Now you think a grown man could stomach the barbs of school children. Uh, instead, Elijah called down a curse in the name of the Lord. The Lord then sent two bears from out of the woods, oh. which mauled 42 children. <laughs> Just because of that? Yes. God killed 42 kids with bears. I feel like they made fun of Elijah for being bald. I feel like Elijah's making that up. <laughs> I think all, he's, all of it's made up. I think everyone made all of it up. I think a bunch of kids got killed by bears, and because they couldn't like deal with it and process the grief, they had to blame the kids somehow. Like It's because they insulted that man. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you, but why would a bear maul 42 kids? What do you mean they well, had maybe to? they just murdered the them fucking normally. kids got murdered. 42 kids did not get killed by a fucking bear. I don't know. Some kids did not happen. Probably one kid got killed by a bear. That definitely happened. That definitely at happened. At some point. Okay. Where would have been a 42 kids in Bible times <laughs> to get killed by two bears? All standing along the road taunting one bald man. That's a guy going, and he goes, I'm gonna hey summon kid, a come here. <laughs> Somebody made fun of my bald head once. Yeah. And God sent two bears and it killed 42 of you little fuckers. <laughs> I think I think that the Bible and is some a, guy standing around said, "Is that true, Elijah?" And he goes, "Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> I was you talking. Know you about can't this. use the Lord's name in vain like that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That happened. I was talking about this with Josh Downey, and I'm like, "We understand that the Bible is a bunch of Jewish guys sitting around lying to each other, right? Like, yeah, my cousin uh, Noah had a boat. It was so big. Yeah, it wasn't that big. No, it was, <laughs> and uh, it was uh, five hundred oh, cubits." Man. This voice. 500 cubits. <laughs> and he had two of every animal on that boat. He did not have two of every. He had two of every one. All right? Even, he even had unicorns, but they died on the way How over. many wives did he have? Wives, he had 100 wives and he lived. A negative de- wife, he was actually. He years old. <laughs> it was an anti wife that he had <laughs> floating around him that would murder any. Oh, uh, yeah. I think the point is that you know that these stories are in the Bible and that. It doesn't they, matter, though. They just hate gay people. I know. But, like. like when you hate gay people because of one part no, of no, a no, book, no, 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 they the hate gay the book- people at first. <laughs> I know. They hate them first. Why do you think all religions hate gay people? Man, uh, what a fucking coinky dink! All these, all you mean, all the religions hate gay people? Yeah, I know. So just say you hate gay people. Just be gay, or just you be could gay. still hate gay people. Yeah, they they do. Don't worry about it. It's just it's just like it's the nuttiness of like. And I'm justified in it. Why? Because my insane book says I am. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, can I summon some bears to kill some kids because they made fun of me for being bald? Yeah. No, that's clearly wrong. <laughs> can I burn an entire town to the ground for it? No. So stop justifying it with your dumb. Just, you, Just you eat sh- the butter. You should want it to be a metaphor. You should want it to be right. a loose collection of fables and from which satire. you can draw and satire which it is okay yeah when you start going no it's the 100 percent word of god it goes well then your god is fucking nuts why yeah. are you saying that <laughs> this is a bad thing to say yeah. it's not the literal word of god it's a bunch of jews who are very creative storytellers who didn't know where I to pour their energy so much though they really do and the worst part is, y- you would think the Bible would have like more well, like, anti-gay people. stuff. Straight people, people trying to fuck your wife. Yeah, gay people aren't. I promise, gay people aren't trying the to. The Bible fuck. has way Definitely more. Definitely not your wife. It has way more shit about how much you you should hate pork than it does Jewish people or uh, gay people. Yeah. Uh, but they, you know, they focus on all the things they agree with. And uh, why did Lot let his daughters uh, have sex with him? <sighs> Well, they were maybe they. I don't know. They were hot. Nothing Why did to do. God want golden hemorrhoid statues? It's funny. That really screws up uh, the Lost Ark for me. That there's golden hemorrhoids yeah, in it. Yeah, that that's why like, they went. The- <laughs> <laughs> when he opened it up, did all, all the Nazis should have got hemorrhoids all at once. And their ass, their don't, pants. Don't blow look, out. Marion. Marion, don't look. Don't look. You'll get hemorrhoids. <laughs> 
farting and shitting all over. And that then, was the original. That pronoun that the guy original comes script. in. Oh, I got pronouns. <laughs> Oh man, you could do, man the Bible. What a what Kelly a Kelly Max probably a got some whoppers of hemorrhoids with her butter meat diet. Yeah, Jesus think, Christ, salt, <laughs> nothing like old hemorrhoids, but salt and inactivity. <laughs> I Oof. wish I wish this woman uh, would learn to. Uh, she got some real roast beef down there, <laughs> shooting out the old cornhole. Why don't you stop hating gays shooting and learn out the to unholy. love? Well, drinking water that might be helpful. Melanie Mack, who has been hospitalized for her all meat, all butter diet. You call somebody a pedophile? It's it, oh, it's on forever. It's anything, oh, I mean, it's, you can, all bets are off. <laughs> all these people. I know are Mel like, Gibson. All you, these people <laughs> are like, I don't know. I think you should like mend things with them. You're all my enemies for life, and you will be fucked. That's it. All uh, right. I will spend the rest of my life devoted to shitting on you, stupid people. <laughs> I'm so sick of this, like, you should, like, mend things. Eric July is a really rational guy. No, he's a dumb fuck piece of shit. All his friends are dumb fuck, fuck pieces of shit. Yeah. Uh, and they're uh, So the evil. Bible is your problem? Bible truthers. Oh, okay. Bible truthers. Yeah, but people who say the Bible is just, like, a cool book, that's fine. That's fine. It's cool that we have an old book that was written by, you know, yeah, people. Like, what kind of English? What kind of stories they were they translated into? so everybody could read it? Because nobody has asses <laughs> learning Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God that one got translated first. Yeah, boy, whoever the first book, oh, King James, really fucking figured uh, that King one out. King James nailed it. Which one of these uh, books you want to translate, James? Uh, hmm. I don't know. The Quran's pretty funny. It's got <laughs> some shady stuff, though. Which one has the least raping kids? Uh, the, the bi this Bible. Which one most justifies my subjugation of the populace? They all do the, that. They all do that. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, let's just go with this one, Let's then. go with the kid rape. The, yeah. no, the least amount of kids getting <laughs> raped. Okay, yeah, this one. This one. Are there any flying horses in this one? No. Then that's the one. I don't want any flying donkey bullshit. <laughs> They're dra I'm sick of it. There's angels. They're There's weird. Angels. How weird? Uh, it's hard to describe. Oh, that's fine. I want a giant perfect. eyeball surrounded by a million other giant eyeballs. Perfect. All spinning in perfect unison. Okay. Which Good then problem. a bunch of people in a town want to have sex with for some reason. Wouldn't you? No. There's a giant. <laughs> if there was a. If there was a being the size of Dodger Stadium with a hundred eleven jillion eyeballs spinning around <laughs> and wings, would you yeah. so you're saying no, you would not want to have sex with that I'd give thing. It, I'd give it a try. And that's why we are the sodomites that need to be smote. <laughs> okay. If we have Tom. nukes now, does God have yeah. does God have nuclear bombs? Uh my problem is plea deals. Plea deals. Do you know what a plea deal is? Mm, I believe I do. So you get arrested for not doing anything, not going to the Capitol or anything like that. Sure. And then the prosecutor get says, for not going to the <laughs> that's, let's, that's let's one say, way of summarizing. Let's say that you it. were sure. not at the Capitol, or maybe you're walking around a little bit. No big deal. It doesn't matter. Right. You go. You're not at the Capitol, and then the government says you're under arrest. We're going to send you to jail. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could get a trial. And the way the system was meant to yeah, work. Yeah. You know? And you, you could get, you know, we're going to try to get put you away for 22 years. Or step right up to door number. Or you could just accept <laughs> this plea could deal. Or the wheel of consequences. <laughs> you could get this plea deal, and we'll let you get away with uh, 11 years. Mm. How about that? Mm. You say, oh, that 11 years is looking pretty good. You better decide fast. Yeah. The timer on this deal. So let's, can, can we go? Can we go lower? 60 seconds. Can we go lower? Uh, you got a couple of, it is, um, it's like a game showification. First of all, it's totally unconstitutional. Mm. It should be illegal. Every, every prosecutor who does and has ever done it, they should dig up the bodies of them and throw them in jail. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking not. What you're allowed to do is get tried for crimes. Right. You're not allowed to Make get fun nickel deals. and dimed by a used car salesman it's about. Fun. It's kind of fun the the game show aspect of it. I think people accept it because in their minds it is a game show. They're like, well, that I makes think, sense. I've seen I that on TV. The the sentences should be in a bunch of suitcases, <laughs> and you got to be like, all right. We're going to try you for 20 years, or you can pick Go one a of 10 suitcases. If you skip the trial. We'll let you pick a suitcase. One of them has a million dollars. Zero. One million of them is a firing squad. And the other ones are different sensing ranges between two. We should make this video, by the way. 
<laughs> okay, you were Tweet. arrested Welcome. for J6. You uh, were sitting at home <laughs> tweeting about how you hate the government. Yeah. Uh, here you go. You're under arrest. We're going to try to prosecute us, the same people that would give you 11 years. When we go in court, we're going to hit you for uh, 30. We're going to hit you for 600 lifetimes. Why? Why do you think I should go away that long then, but now you only think I should go away? Well, you know, I'm just like, to be silly. <laughs> Is there like a, like, because of justice you think I should get less? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I just want a wheel. Can you explain? I want a wheel and a lady and like a bonus round. Can you explain how the... The just trying of my freedoms yeah. uh, calculates to exactly half of the sentence to incentivize me. Now, right now, you've got four years, but you could risk it all on a terrorism rider, <laughs> which will upcharge. Uh, you could go away forever. Yeah. Or you could just take this little deal that or I'm you offering take you. This deal. If I give you $100,000, will the time go down? That's illegal, man. You can't do that. <laughs> Why is that illegal? <laughs> It feels like we're already playing Let's Make a Deal. Why am dealing. I not allowed to I make an offer? I can't make any offers. What yeah. if I rat on my friends? Oh, yeah, then we'll knock it yeah, down we'll a little bit that. more. We'll take that. What if I ran on my friend uh, Benjamin Franklin? No. Mm. Right. Back in jail. Just always remember the Monty Hall problem. Always switch the door. Uh, I had the I had the J6 guys. I'm bringing this in because of the J6 guys. Didn't you have guys. a J6 guy on your show? Yeah, a couple. Did he get did He's any- in jail for four years. Four years. No. His family and his uh, black wife are struggling to make ends meet. Nobody's writing him. Nick Ox, write to him in prison. O C H S, write to him because prisoners love getting mail. He's at least they didn't put him in like solitary or whatever, right? That's the worst thing. When they go, oh, that these would be guys the best for can't me. Be in- no, solitary. You don't want to be in solitary. I want to be in that Iron Maiden. I don't even want to think about <laughs> lock me in that fucking thing and then open it up in four years. <laughs> That was good. I want to be going to cryo sleep like a uh, demolition man. Yeah, demolition man. What was the name of the guy from Demolition Man? Uh, Stallone John Spartan. As John Spartan. Yeah. So they got the Proud Boys. Here's their plea deals. Terrio got. Oh wait, so they got offered nine yeah, this to eleven, was offer. and they turned it down. Yeah, I, that's. Uh, See, that's bullshit. You should be able to revert to the plea deal. Well, I, I guess that doesn't make any sense then. See. Doesn't make sense because <laughs> then everybody wouldn't take it. But, but they shouldn't. But the that it, it should. It's yeah. illegal. Mm. It's crazy. It's like if they show up to your house and put a gun to your kid's head and say, "Well, you know, uh, why don't you just go ahead and why don't you just go ahead and waive your Fifth Amendment?" Right. I mean, you know, I should admit you're guilty. I mean, it's kind of bullshit. Like the whole idea that it's like take this deal and then you didn't take the deal and it's like, but. Your crime, I'm innocent. your crime didn't change, or whatever you did didn't change. Nothing changed. Right. So why do I, why is it okay for in justice terms? Is it okay for me to only go to jail for half of this time? Mm. Yeah. Why were you guys okay with me getting six years at one point, but because I said, "Well, I'd like zero, You go, "Well, then we got to give you eighteen. And then you can't go in there. Baked Alaska did this. Yeah. And he, they made him. They made him come back and do it again. Yeah. He I said, "I'm it. taking the plea deal because I don't want to go." I don't want to go to jail. And they said, well, are you guilty? And he goes, no. And he goes, well, then you can't take the plea deal. And he goes, why? And he said, you can't say that you're innocent and take the plea deal. And he goes, oh. And he goes, well, you have to come back in a month after you've thought about it. And he goes, well, okay, I'm not, I'm guilty then. And he said, no, you have to come back in a month. <laughs> so he comes back in a month and goes, yeah, I'm, I'm guilty. It's yeah. like, how is this? Why all can't, of you yeah, should why? be in prison. The judge the lawyers, <laughs> all of you should be in prison because that's the le- most I could say legally. And now, apparently. Yeah. The uh, whole. So the reason we have the plea deals is because the courts are jammed up, right? I, th- I think that's the well, excuse that's, they use. I mean, <laughs> like, there's a lot of ways to fix jammed up courts. <laughs> there's executing cr- uh, uh, perps. I is don't good, know about that. Uh, exactly. Just give them a free bag of fentanyl and send them on their way. I don't know why it's why it started, but the, but I know that. If everybody stopped taking plea deals, would no one would ever go to prison again. Yeah, because they cannot possibly they can't try everybody. That many trials, so they'd have to start kind of repealing laws until only the important ones were left. Like were these you know, jury trials, murder. by the way. Yeah. So juries like got convinced that, that people who didn't go to the Capitol were. Guilty of I keep waiting for like what the smoking gun is of these like cases because I'm like, None. well, there must have been like a text message where they said like let's kill a guy or that's you know, legal. Let's, 
Well, you could say if you you stormed into a building with the intent of killing someone, that would be a problem. <laughs> I don't know why you're saying that's legal. It's clearly not legal. <laughs> <laughs> like you can say it as a joke, maybe, but yeah, that, well, there you go. well, then, yeah, but then if you actually go, all right, but the thing is, like, these guys didn't have like weapons on them, nobody did. It seems obvious that they just went there as like a political LARP to everyone's like, everyone's going, everyone's going, hey, we're going inside. Oh, shit, okay, okay yeah, cool. cool, yeah, let's go inside. And I then, wish I was there, I'm at home though. If these guys, well, you're going to jail for 22 really years, to overthrow the government, they probably wouldn't have taken a bunch of selfies and then left. They probably would have, like, done something. How do you overthrow the government from, <laughs> from walking around capital. in a room? <laughs> what is even the... Yeah. What is the, out, what is the optimum outcome of that? I'll say this. Look, I can understand the government being like, we need to make it very clear you can't just burst into the Capitol and fuck around. They shouldn't give keep the like, doors locked then. Give them, like, two years or something. Oh, it's like, I mean, man, it's the government. They're going to fuck you no matter what. I'd be, I'd be much happier getting two years than 22. 90% of all criminal convictions are the results of plea deals. Yeah. I think Biden Which are unconstitutional, should, uh, flat out. Yeah, go ahead. Are we going to talk about pardons or not? Because I want to. Oh, I changed my problem. Okay. I think Biden should pardon some of these guys. All of them. Yeah. Me too. I think I think if he did that, see, I asked. I was like, oh, maybe we could trick it. Maybe Obtuse Gnome could trick. Yeah, Biden we'll send it. Obtuse Gnome in our secret agent. I think, like, again, these are guys who I don't know thought the election was stolen. Yeah. So they're not very smart, and that's fine. Uh-huh. Uh, but again, they didn't like go. If they went in with like a bunch of guns and were like shooting them, I'd be like, yeah, okay, that's fucked. But instead, they kind of like. I, if I was on That's there, hugely illegal. Here's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, look, man, if I believe the election was stolen, I probably would have been there with them. I would have went into that building. Yeah, because the de- Democrats have done that multiple times. Democrats they go in and yeah. to buildings and protest and burn stuff down. And haven't ha- like, hasn't there been capital protests where all they the go time. in? Yeah. yeah, all the time. So, look, you can say, like, okay, they knocked down some barricades, so it's a little more serious. <laughs> Uh, and give him a little something. Ah, I hate this fence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how they got a jury to. Uh, I mean, is it was it in, it was in D.C. though, right? I don't that know. was where the trials were. I don't know all this. So it's probably a bunch of, of hippie liberal morons in the. In I don't the jury. even know if it was a jury trial. It might uh, not have been. I don't think it was. J- jury, there you go. Jury, jury convicts. convicts four leaders. <laughs> was it the same jury? It must have been a, a different jury. jury. How? How? I don't know, because uh, that's the thing. I kept being like, uh, I'm like, well, what did they show the jury that, like, because if I was their lawyer, I'd just be like, well, here's, like, all the other times it's happened and nobody went to jail. Yeah, you, uh, just, Jerry, just so you know, you can definitely, you can sit around saying that I uh, want to take over the government. Yeah, you can say you that. You can say that all, you can say that all day, <laughs> basically. Just so you guys know. I mean, I think when all, like, women go in there, it didn't, like, a bunch of women go in and be like, give us our abortion rights, and they're wearing, like, pussy hats or women whatever. Women have said and- the most outlandish, scandal yeah. shit you could imagine. Women have said they'll kill God. Stop, they won't even stop know, at the like, government. Did their lawyer not just be like, look, people have done this. It's, uh, you know. I don't know, Vito. You don't got to be happy about it, but it's like, yeah, they're protesting the government. I don't know, but the plea deal part's the problem because it happens. It got a little out of hand. The guys who, like, punched cops, sure, you know, come down it's on those It's basically the government using the government as a threat to get you to voluntarily go to prison for something that they can't bust you on necessarily if 90 percent of convictions are from you just admitting it yeah. you have to assume that some of those would have not some of those people would have walked mm. right what is the percentage is it one is it 50 is it 99 nobody could ever possibly say yeah. right so what they're doing is so what they're doing is is evil they're taking people who would have gone free yeah. and imprisoning them yeah uh, which is why it's unconstitutional big problem well, if you're a big uh, Proud Boys guy, this weekend in Vegas, Josh Denny performing alongside Gavin McGinnis uh, as part of the Fuck Racism Comedy Tour. There you uh, go, Josh. Nice little plug for you. There you go. I in wish Vegas? I was there. I wanna, yeah, I want to go to, you want to go to Vegas this weekend? No, I'm going See to our good friend Kevin, today? Kevin McGinnis. <laughs> Kevin McGinnis. <laughs> I asked Josh, I was like, Josh, I was like. I forget how it came up, but I'm like, oh, Gavin must hate me, right? Because because of Dick. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, no, no. I talked to him. He's like, man, I can't believe that fucking Dick Masterson guy came to my show. He's like, 
That video guy seemed all right, though. And I'm like, ah, cool. Gavin McGinnis likes me. I'm basically an honorary proud Maybe boy. he will be my third Maybe retard stone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do need a millionaire stone. I guess Eric July stone is a fake millionaire stone. Uh, you need the real millionaire stone, yeah. the vice stone. All right, that's my problem, plea deals. Plea deals. Well, I've got something almost. It's like your wife nagging as you. As important, yeah. You know? Like, how, okay, you can, we can have this argument or you can just admit to, to this. I won't check your phone, but you have to admit that you've been a bad boyfriend. Don't let your woman check yeah. your phone. <clears throat> She'll find all your torrents. Uh, let's see. My problem, Dick, I'll tell you a little story, mm -hmm. is uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. What a show. One of my favorites. I'm surfing the internet, and I see that the soundtrack is now available on vinyl record. Okay. And I'm like, well, all right, the Evangelion soundtrack, a lot of great tunes on there. Get a nice little vinyl. I got one of those. Something to buy. Let Something me get to it. Buy. Limit it. Well, it's true. I was going to buy it from Walmart.com, mm -hmm. and then I noticed that different retailers had different color variant discs. Mm -hmm. So depending on who you buy it from, the vinyl is a special color. And I said, oh, look at that. Over on the Crunchyroll store, I can get it in limited edition Evangelion unit two colors, a red vinyl and an orange vinyl. And I said, you know, it's a little more. It's a little more than the other releases. Had yeah. to pay a little extra for shipping. Okay. I said, well, it's fine because that's the variant I want. What are you going to do with all this stuff when you die? Fucking burn it, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm getting buried with all that shit. And then I'm going to set the grave on no, fire. No dirt on top of your <laughs> coffin. Just t plastic toys I want and shit. A gravestone, a complete plastic lucite box so you can see me yeah. surrounded by trash. <laughs> there should be a special graveyard for like neats. Yes. Where it's just a landfill you get to have of all, all your, your toys shit. And, and you're just buried in them. Throw you and just bury you in PlayStation on top games. And dump all your shit on top of you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to live forever. Point is, the other day I get a box. Uh-huh. The box is like this fucking big. Wow. And I open it up, and what is in there? One vinyl record that has been bouncing around inside a box ten times the size of it. Okay. And uh, it is completely uh, one of the ones. Destroyed? One destroyed, yes. <laughs> So now I have to get a refund. My problem nah. with the deck is fear of bubble wrap. Oh. Why are people not using the bubble wrap? Because it's, it's, it's expensive. A, it is expensive, but it's a miracle substance. That yeah. Every time I keep getting packages that are just fucked. I now have yeah. to go, when I go on, I buy shit on eBay, I have to like put in there, I go, listen, motherfucker, just put a little bubble wrap. Oh, if you yeah. need me to send you an extra buck, I'll do it. And they go, no, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And it shows up and everything's fucking Smashed. damaged. Oh. Dick, bubble wrap was invented in 1957 oh, wow. right. by engineers Alfred Fielding and Mark Chavanes of Hawthorne, New Jersey. They originally sealed two shower curtains together, which created an interesting pattern of air bubbles. Do you know what they tried to use their invention for first? Uh, uh, scuba stuff? Wallpaper, Dick. They wanted wow. bubble wrap. A wallpaper. You'd put it up on the wall. Do you have that? Paint it. No, I wish Do I had Do any nerds that. have bubble wrap wallpaper? For like earthquakes and stuff? At this point, maybe I should. It would protect all my shit. I'm one of these guys every time. You know how they tell you in California, like, secure your shelves to the wall in yeah, case there's you an earthquake? Yeah, you have to, yeah. Yeah, I'd never do that. No. No one ever does No that. one ever does. No. I'm like, yeah, if it comes, it comes. After would you that, be out, how much would you would all your toys break if you had an earthquake? I don't know. I got to check my so I have a separate insurance policy for my video game toys. collection. Yeah, not the toys, just the video games. Oh, his toys aren't included. Uh, I would have to get another rider to cover toys, and the insurance company has told me the consoles are not covered, just the games themselves. The games, like the CDs. Yeah, and the cases and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Is they're weird. wrapped. I don't know why. Th I think they think a console is more prone to like just fucking break. Oh, because it's using got capacitors. It. Yeah, it's got They're like a bunch. Of, yeah, it's gonna die over time. But they yeah. assume the cartridges and stuff will stay good. Yeah. Uh, so I have an insurance policy on those, and uh, yeah, I try to keep them. There in was a good guy condition. who. Uh, there was a guy called Butt Sanchez mm. who would. Um, who would do well to heed this problem? Yeah. He sent once upon a time. He sent a box with a very expensive ash statue from the Army of Darkness. Yeah. Out of made out of that polymer or clay, you know, whatever it is, the mm -hmm. nice statues. 
and also a big selection of uh, barbecue sauce that he liked. I think I remember seeing a picture of this. Uh, and he didn't wrap it at all. He just put so, it in a box, like a bunch of glass bottles of yeah, barbecue with sauce. Some newspaper, maybe his newspaper some for the newspaper. day. They always think newspaper is going to do it. It's not. Uh, so it showed up, and the, this figurine was smashed up, and all the barbecue sauce was all smashed as well. Guys, you got to use bubble wrap. I'll say this about Pop Sculpture, yeah. who sent our my cum jar, mm-hmm. uh, my super killer cum jar. Yeah. Excellent packaging because he uses the bubble wrap. He respects the bubble wrap. A lot of people don't. After bubble wrap was unsuccessful as wallpaper, they tried to use it as greenhouse insulation. Mm. It wasn't big, but they hit on their big deal in 1961 when their big client decided to use bubble wrap to protect a very important product. That company was IBM. Bubble wrap Great. is responsible for the computing age, Dick. Okay. So. When the IBM 1401 computer was packaged by these delightful bubbles, yeah. which are so much fun to pop. It truly is a wonder material. And yet Yeah, kind of like there was an there was a moment when popping the bubbles like that's one of the first memes that I remember being really annoying. <laughs> really? Like popping bubbles was fun as a kid yeah. and then it, they were selling like popping bubble things. They're still selling those. I see those everywhere. People would talk about it and I'm like I hate it now. Those are and the I new never fidget popped spinners, another bubble. The poppables or whatever. They're like stupid. They look like that. And they go back and forth. Yeah. That's annoying, but then they also sold like bubble wrap oh, just had- for popping. Yeah. Like, uh, you guys just have to ruin Remember everything. Remember when they were selling like little fidget things? There would be one that just had like a bubble you could pop. Yeah, I do remember that. Um, Regardless, it is fun to pop. Okay, what? So tape. What's next? Is that <laughs> you did tape? You literally brought in finding the edge of packing tape. You're not That's allowed a to neg that- my <laughs> bubble wrap problem. If you're allowed to do a packaging problem, a good problem, I'm allowed to do a packaging problem. People need to use bubble wrap. And you got foam. No, they don't use anything. Look, I, okay, I will settle for alternate forms of pad, but some people, again, it was there a giant go. box, yeah. no packaging, and one of the fucking vinyls so here. fucking Anvelgis li- It's and It's a piece of shit. Yeah, my Evangeline. LP didn't show up. I paid like 40 oh, no. bucks. It's a two LP set, and one of them's broken because they didn't bubble wrap it. Well, I can't listen to fucking Amy, whatever, the fucking blue one or... Asuka, is that in there? <laughs> Asuka's oh, the red one. I can't fucking look at Asuka and listen to this music. <laughs> oh, man, it's all messed up. Well, they could have just put bubble wrap in, and it would Why? Why? I'll say, okay, you know what I'm going to say? Smash all that the shit. The one thing that I have to respect about the Repiverse is that packaging. Oh, boy. Does he know how to package uh, a comic book? He could put a little bubble wrap in there, but What do you have to do mailers, with your an- Evangelion? I got to contact the company. I got to get a refund now because they didn't bubble wrap it. Mm. Do they have any more? I don't know. It might be limited custom. edition. Maybe they're sold out. Oh, man. All the others just went up in value. That's true. <laughs> There's one. It's all Every smashed time I, up. Normally when I buy records, they have like a very specific like mailer. At, at least, okay, I'll say this. Like the mailers that are specifically sized for a specific thing, those are great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I bet the guy at the factory just said, this, this is what I'm doing with my life, packaging up this shit. But it's like when Fucking Amazon, Amazon does that shit the all the time, too, and Amazon never uses bubble wrap. And then yeah. you'll, you'll order, like, a little thing, and they'll put it in a giant-ass box, and then it shows up all broken and fucked. As a collector, I like my things to arrive in yeah. mint condition. Mm-hmm. Point is, guys, if you got a chance, and I'll say this, a little pro tip, the bubble wrap at Home Depot is overpriced. Uh, I think you can order it online, you'll get a better deal. I got a pro tip. Stop buying this crap. <laughs> You don't need any of this crap. This vinyl shit. <laughs> Fucking Dick, n- I have literally nothing else going on in my life. Okay? I don't we'll have a save gr- it. I don't have a girlfriend. Well, don't get one of those. All this TV I tried I tried to watch that Ahsoka show. It's garbage. Don't watch that shit. Uh, all I have is like magic cards on the internet, which is pretty That's fun. That's fine. Yeah, and, you can buy those. And buying stupid garbage Can't that gets sent that. to my house. And I look at it for ten seconds and I put it on a shelf <laughs> and I never touch it again. <laughs> And that's my happiness. Oh, that was great. Let me just put that, that in great. the Let me back. put it on the- <laughs> Oh, no, it's broken. This will never do. This will never sit in my bookshelf. Look, man, I'm only... <laughs> Why didn't you bubble wrap my fucking... I've managed to find LP. one distraction on this earth. Do you and have I- an album player? Yeah, I have a record player. I have one of those crappy uh, suitcase ones. I gotta get a nicer one. Is it Evangelion themed? Like no, a- it's not Evangelion themed. Why not? Is there? Know. If they made one, I would probably get it. <laughs> 
like a Pikachu record player. They have an Evangelion. Uh, they have an Evangelion uh, humidifier that I've thought oh, about. Oh, I bet they do. <laughs> and it's just the ro- <laughs> it's the robot trampling the pyramid, and steam comes out of it to to humidify, and you can put Vicks is Vapor it Rub steam in there. Steam, or is it uh, Zyklon B that comes out of there? Because that's what it should be. <laughs> I'm gonna get that Evangelion humidifier. <laughs> They have an entire. There's a video on YouTube. I'm just kidding. Can That's you, just a delouser. There's a don't, YouTube I'm, I don't. video. <laughs> can you live your life entirely with Evangelion products? And the answer, like, you can get an Evangelion tool belt. No, is the answer. You, can you cannot live your life. Uh, hammer. They have an entire. Uh, <laughs> oh, what would they need that tools? for? <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. I'm gonna put stuff. this up on the shelf. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want to use it. It's a collector's item. Ooh, whoa! Look at me. I'm building. I thought a about bucket. getting the Evangelion. I'm building a life. I've thought about getting the Evangelion <laughs> wire cutters. You know, do they really cuss- have that shit? Yes, they do. I'm looking it up. Look it up. Look up Evangelion uh, AT or uh, just look up tools. Tools. Yeah, they have an entire line of tools. Oh God, kill me. They really do. I want to get them. Uh, don't get this shit. They have a golf bag. Huh. They make. Ha- ha- yeah, you should take up golfing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I should get an Evangelion toolbox? When- no. What are you gonna use? I for. use tools. I hammer. I nail. I screw. I do all the things. They're just colored tools. Tape measures. Yeah, they're no, not. They're, they're not Evangelion at all. No, they got like a little picture of the robot on some of them. I mean, not what really. Is that? is that a fucking? It's a hose, like like <laughs> wheeler upper. Nuts? Why is there a watermelon in the background of <laughs> for this scale? For scale. Okay. The watermelon is a important watermelons icon. Watermelons could be a lot of different sizes, though. It's, it's, it's from a banana. Evangelion has a watermelon scene, okay? Jesus What's that one? So you'll be Christ. able to buy si- oh, scissors. scissors. What's AT Field? Is well, that a- AT Field is the wall of the soul, as explained by the series. But uh, this is their, you know, line of tools. <laughs> they've called them. You sh- people show up to school with this shit? <laughs> no, you keep this in your house. I want all this stuff. Someday I'm going to have my whole house is just going to be Evangelion scissors and razors. They Why can you be into something blades. cool like being a furry or something? <laughs> this is cool. This is great. Uh-huh. I love this. What else is there here? Uh, again, there is a YouTube video that somebody went through all the different shit. that They make everything. Evangelion is like. I mean, they're making scissors. They're making scissors. Yeah. Evangelion makes like a ton of money. Why? Is it that big? Yes. Why? You know, so you know, there's that Wikipedia list of like the top like media franchises of all time, and okay. it's like Pokemon, Mickey Mouse, Hello Kitty. Yeah, Evangelion's like number fourteen of Behind the top what? franchises of all time. Okay, and the reason is, Dick. Yeah, Pachinko. <laughs> what? There are more Evangelion Pachinko machines in Japan. It's like the top branded Pachinko line. Okay. So like if you go to Japan and you play Pachinko, you're going to play on an Evangelion Pachinko machine. Winnie the Pooh. And it has made the owners of the IP like a bajillion dollars. Spider-Man, Transformers, Cars, Dungeon Fighter Online. What the fuck? Let's see. Yeah, Evan- it's always interesting when you... uh Evangelion's not on here. It was. <sighs> Hold on, where'd it go? Fucking fake news, man. Oh, shit. It was on there. Fucking Wait, what's, which Wikipedia article fake. is this? I don't know. Highest, Highest grossing, grossing media, media franchises. franchises. Pokemans, Mickey, Winnie the Poop, Star Wars. Dude, it used to be in the top Disney 20. Princesses. I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, Ape Man. I remember looking at it and it was up there. Harry Potter, Barbie, Marvel. Maybe it was top Japanese. Maybe it was top tra- uh, Japanese franchises. For uh, trans people, maybe. Was it that? I can't believe Cars is in the top 20. Hello Kitty. I mean, I guess I do believe it. Uh, Dora the Explorer is up there. Wow. Yeah. Imagine if they go woke. Point is, total fucking it's a huge franchise. What does that sound? Is that me? It's like air whistling. Oof, I hate it. All right. So what were you saying? Sorry. I want to get a wrap for my car, an Evangelion wrap. That would be, if you did that, I'd take back everything. If you got a fucking Evangelion wrap for your car... <laughs> You can get. I'll buy you the fucking tools. The problem is, if I could, if I can get. There you go. There you go. Talking yourself out of doing something cool. No, no, no. I want to do it, but I my car has a bunch of dents in it. I got to find like a dent. Oh, uh, that would really. Place. There's no way they would wrap your car. No, that, but I want it. I don't want to wrap my car if it's like a dented piece of shit. I would want to get like. How many dents does it have? I mean, it has like a big one on the side. I would want to get that like. That's it. Fixed up. I think so. Get a, get them both. Dents like a hundred bucks. 
Yeah, no problem. I might, I might take it to a dent place, and then I want to get a fucking all you around. You got to wrap. You have got to get. You got to get wrap. that that price. <laughs> And you got to show up to the live show with your Evangelion wrap. Maybe I'll secretly do it during the show and get it Evangelion wrapped. I think it would be cool. What would you get, like a porno one with their tits no, out and stuff? No, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to make it look like a, like a military. You know how you see like the Jurassic Park vehicles that people keep doing? Yeah. Uh, there's like a there's like an evil government agency in Evangelion. So I wanted to make it look like a government like black site car with like are they logos pedophiles? On it no, they're not pedophiles. Well, they, the good guys are they pedophiles. They put a bunch of thirteen year olds inside robots and force them to get naked. So you could make the argument that they're fucking around a you little have bit. Have to make the argument <laughs> pedophiles. I don't know if NERF is a pedophilic organization. Pedophile. What does NERF stand for? Uh, I think it's just the word nerve, like, you know, like so, the nerve. Okay. Of, I know, can't like the do nerves it inside fast you. enough with pedophile stuff. All right. My, uh, my not last enough problem virgins. is uh, not enough Randy virgins. Not enough. Oh, yeah, Evangelion. Something, something. Not enough Randy virgins Evangelion. Evangelion. That's Evangelion. it. Sure. Uh, p- phone p- paste formatting. Phone paste formatting. Come on, man. Get it together. Copy a little thing. Maybe mm. this is just paste formatting. Copy it. Paste it in something else. Oh, wow. That's what I wanted. Half of a fucking HTML document. <laughs> Let me go fucking paste this in a URL bar or something so I could re highlight, recopy it, and then go repaste it without all this fucking garbage all Wait, over it. Just the fucking me- text. I just want the text. <laughs> highlight. Don't you want it to copy. be 48 point font uh, you, and a you bunch got, of different colors? Wow. I said what I love. Hey, bus- <laughs> hey, business people, check this out. This is what I'm talking about, actually. Paste in half a paragraph. Oh, it's wind wingdings. Yeah. Some kind of font that it wasn't on the page, and now it's this kind of font. You just paste it as fucking what? text. No one has ever wanted to yeah. paste it with fonts and shit. Why is the default to paste it with the inherited formatting when 99% of the time- Nobody's ever wanted I've it. I've never said, let me copy this font from a website- and have it be the exact size and color as it was on that website. I, I have no use for that. Yeah, I need it to be, uh, you know, gigantic. I need it to be the size of the page. Okay, so here's the find issue. The guy, find yeah. the guy who made the thing where you get texted and it pops it up above the keyboard so you can just put press it and the code goes in. Mm. Find that guy because he's the only guy that knows what he's doing in all of IT and make him do the copy-paste text thing correctly. Here's what needs to happen is I think the problem is the clipboard is blind. So mm-hmm. if I'm copying and pasting within the same document, mm-hmm. then I do want to keep the formatting. Yes. So if I copy something that's like underlined or whatever else, I want to keep that and then paste somewhere else and then adjust it. But clearly if I'm copying from mm-hmm. anywhere else, I don't give a fuck it should, why <laughs> it doesn't work. Just make it work. You know Just well it should If know, I want it to be big or bold again, I'll do it. I'll figure yeah. it out. Do not make me fucking go between six apps to paste something in an email. It should know if I've copied the text from a website. Because if I did, I clearly don't want to keep the formatting. And I know some people right now are saying- How about you don't just leave a little- If there's one letter hanging off, don't fucking put it in there. Just get rid of it. Some people right now are frantically typing. Well, you can right-click- and hit paste without formatting. No, you can't. But not you, everywhere. Not on your phone. Not on your phone. Not on your phone. You can't do and it you on your phone. You can't do it everywhere, everywhere else either. So fuck you. Exactly. I don't want to install some other fucking app. Remember when I was pl- complaining about protein shakes that time? Sure. Yeah. Remember that? That they're protein chalky clumps? and you don't know how to stir them correctly. And it doesn't work. Well, Shaking it doesn't work. Stirring it doesn't work. Nothing works. It's always just chalky. You have to live with told it. You get a blender and it works fine. And I got the blender. And I was like, this is life changing. Yeah. It totally works. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to clean out right away, but otherwise it's like silky smooth. Mm. That fucker broke like three weeks in. Would you get like one of those magic bullet blenders or something? What? What kind of blender did you get? I don't know. It's whatever one Amazon said was the best. You gotta get, you gotta get the ninja. I'm done. It's made by that streamer kid. He makes the blenders. The one with the blue hair yeah. and the ugly wife? Yeah. Huh. Is a line of uh, blenders. I don't there. want that, guys. I don't want some influencer's well, blender. Because he's always, you know, he needs so much energy to stream games all the time that he's always blending up these concoctions. He is? Yeah. It's like his brand. What the fuck? <laughs> he he's he like, sits around playing video games, making smoothies yeah, for yeah. himself? Well, like, in between rounds of Fortnite, he'll, like, grab a bunch of, like, blueberries and yogurt and... I don't know. I don't know. He's like, well, he was always blending shit, and then he got, like, this big blender deal, and I don't know. It's in all the stores. If Sam Hyde made a blender, I would buy it. (laughs) (laughs) 
not using a ninja. You're not use the ninja blender. No. <laughs> the Sam Hyde blender. Sam he's, Hyde he's made do with that Gold Striker carrier. I would buy the Gold Striker Gold blender. Gold Striker made a blender. Gold Striker blenders. Put anything in it. Put fucking pennies in it. I don't care. Bring that. Guy, bring that some, back. Put a put a rake in it. <laughs> Bring the Will It Blend Will it guys blend? back. Yeah, I bought my parents that fucking thing. It was great. We knew this guy who uh, was insane, and he uh, was working for a printer company, and his idea was we're going to do Will It Print, and he would fill, like, ink cartridges with mustard. Huh. huh. But it wasn't funny because he had no, no charisma, and obviously <laughs> it never worked. <laughs> It would just get jammed and like a bunch of mustard would squirt all over the paper. It wasn't even like funny. It was just like tragic. It's gross. Yeah, it was gross and weird. And it was just a guy like, it won't print. See, me describing it makes it sound good. Not <laughs> it was really. the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like one of those ideas where somebody says the idea yeah. and that's like as good as it gets. And then they Ink like explain very, it. And like, yeah, 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 I got it. Ink has a very like obvious, you know, viscous, whatever, you know, fluid quality that uh -huh. like anything else in an ink cartridge, it would just jam and like nothing would happen half the time or it would like leak a little bit of mustard juice onto the paper. This is disgusting. <laughs> Like, maybe the mustard, like, <laughs> pre-cum part at the top would print. And also, it didn't make sense because Will It Blend was proving how good the blender was. Will yeah. It Print was just proving it was a normal printer that you couldn't put mustard in because why would... It, it didn't Stump. even follow the... <laughs> Does he, do these still exist? I really want to find him. This was like 15 years ago. I remember, like, this was literally my buddy had it. I think it was on a VHS tape that we were watching at the fucking, like, public access station 15 years ago. It might be on YouTube. All right. That's our, that's our problems. Those uh, are some problems. Plea deals, yours, uh, plea Bible deals, truthers, and, and uh, phone and paste fear formatting. Of bubble wrap. Fear of bubble wrap. Or is it bubble wrap? Yeah, fear of, I don't know if it's fear. I mean, what, what do you, no. Bubble wrap a phobia. <laughs> Call it fear of bubble wrap. People not using bubble People wrap. Not using bubble for wrap. your Evan Gay Lelian. Shitty. Shitty shippers. Shitty shippers. Shitty shippers. Shitty shippers. Shitty shippers. All right. Shitty it. shippers. Um, it's a shitty shipper. Is it not shipper good? You, you had no context for that one. You're <laughs> no, just saying shit. racist stuff. I'm the new Shane Gillis. Cancel me. It worked out so well for that motherfucker. God. Well, they won't make they won't pick on you for anything that you are. It's just that you're a pedophile. I know I'm like super <laughs> racist all the time, and I don't get any shit because they're all racist though. So they get you know, so they like that. How come they don't think Miles Morales is Spider Man? For wait, first of all, <laughs> don't go down that road. First of all, yeah. Uh, even my my nephews call Miles Morales Miles Morales. So yeah. where is the confusion that he's quote Spider Man? And secondly, why is he not Spider Man? Like who's who's not who's uh, who is has their panties in a bunch that he's not Spider Man. It's really I don't know. It's like a weird meme for them. I guess what they're just trying they're trying to say they're like well they're he's not retarded. he's not the original Sp Spider Man. It's like yeah we know no shit he's black like, he's the black Spider Man. We're like yeah and he does like spray paint and stuff everywhere <laughs> and he's like not any good and and the real Spider Man and two of the real Spider Man are in his movie. No shit he's we not the real Spider Man. We talked about this on one of the but we you think the fucking pig yeah. is real Spider Man too. We talked about this in our uh, Spider-Man bonus episode where there's this really weird conspiracy theory that Miles Morales, you know how there's been all these like rights disputes over these comic characters where like, yeah, like Superman's family is like, hey, give us more money. The guy, okay. you know, because our, our granddad created Superman or whatever. So the conspiracy theory that's going around is that DC Real fucking hard. That was <laughs> well, they fucked those guys. See a man, uh, Superman. <laughs> Got an S on him. Dude, they fucked the Superman creators. What's his deal, America? Oh, wow. <laughs> no. How much money you want for that? A billion dollars? They did not that give one? him that. They didn't give him they a billion. They didn't deserve shit for coming up with that crap. Ah, come on. Uh, Schuster and Siegel deserve the world for coming up with it. Anyway, so the theory is that DC Comics, also because the, uh, what do you call it? The copyrights are running out. Like mm -hmm. Superman's copyright is probably got another 10 years. Mm -hmm. Or whatever else. So the belief is that these characters, like Miles Morales, were created because they were worried that when they lose the license to Peter Parker, when it's public domain, oh, that they want to have 
a different Spider-Man. Uh huh. And then people are trying to say, well, that means he's a shittier character because he was only created out of copyright fears. And I'm like, first of all, you don't actually have any proof that he was created out of copyright fears. And second of all, why does it that matter? Like, it's still comic a good book shit, character. man. Go vote up comic book dude, shit from the com- bonus dude, episode. It's so dumb. I hate comic fans. Right, Anybody who buys a comic book is retarded. <laughs> here we go. Superkiller.org. Hey, Dick. Uh, you know, uh, biggest problem in the universe is. Uh, concert venues and their weird like open container shit laws or whatever okay. uh, i went to go see fucking nickelback and for every uh beer that you order they have to open it for you right which yeah. is fine i get that i guess but the only fucking problem is that they decide the only water they're gonna sell is in fucking cans so my plan is to drink a shit ton of beer and then get like two or three waters load up on those oh before yeah the big uh, i got it before nickelback comes on yeah. and then just continue to drink get myself a little bit of, you know hydrated um right except when they give me three cans they open all three of them yeah and i try to explain to them like look i'm going to be drinking them one at a time and they said sorry we can't it's the rules i said yes for alcohol but this is just water it's just water said, sorry it's the same rules i'm like is there somebody i can talk to because i really really <laughs> just want this fucking no. water one at a time guess what uh, buddy? And the fucking manager whoever uh fucking cocksucker mcgee gives me a goddamn problem I'm saying like, oh, you really want me to risk my job so that you can have your water? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I want me, you to blow like, your you fucking, fucking brains out, dude. Get like belligerently drunk and not drink water, and then after to be on you. Like, fuck yourself, man. Anyway, love the show. Go fuck yourself. There's yeah, there's a good argument stuff. to be made. What if I can't stay hydrated because I can only have one water at a time, and then I fucking pass out and I die in the pit? Because you morons wouldn't sell me a sealed fucking can of water. How would you like a plea deal? Yeah, You're asking you know, that a plea deal for that. How, you, how would you like a? Pl- You're looking at prison time. Hey, sir. speaking of open container laws, I have a bonus problem I'd like to bring in. Okay, uh, it's venues where. How do I how put? The, not venues. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story. There's this restaurant called Stuffed Sandwich. You've probably never heard of this place. No. Here's their deal. They're actually like a place that sells like fancy craft beers from around the world, but mm-hmm. they're not allowed to sell them to you because they're a restaurant. You have to buy food and the food is fucking terrible. And I don't like craft beer anyway, but my buddy does. And this place is right near my house. So he comes over and he's like, hey, we should go to Stuff Sandwich so I can buy weird $20 European beers. Uh, and then I have to I eat this shitty, ter- like the worst sandwich I've ever had because yeah. he's not allowed to just buy the beer. Why don't you just buy the beer and give it to him? No, neither of us can buy the beer without oh, someone buying Oh, you don't have to food. sandwich either way. No. Why don't you just say no? Because <laughs> I'm the nice guy. How come these guys like can never get their weird thing. beers anywhere else? I don't know. Like, oh, I've got to get this one specific beer at this place. And like, how does that place stay in business? It's like a terrible sandwich shop run by like an 80-year-old woman who has never made a good sandwich in her life, apparently. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what is this? It's fucking terrible. <laughs> Liquor laws, man. Liquor laws. Uh, Okay. Here's another Here's another one. Let's see here. This is relating to public urination. I was uh, driving cross country and I pull into this gas station and uh, this black dude is pumping his gas and he's got his back to me and his legs are spread. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And he's just uh, standing there pissing at the gas station. Hmm. Why? I assume I, I, I bet the <laughs> fucking bathroom was out. So I go inside to take a piss myself clean this guy was just like in such a hurry you couldn't i don't know why this guy's voicemail is cut uh, i wish he would have been arrested that day he yeah. didn't fucking shot because uh it was so gross and weird because we live in a fuck society video we don't whip our dicks out and piss in public oh, yeah, he's sitting why, not? why not that guy's a fucking champion <laughs> uh, yeah. fill up one tank empty another it's a fucking one one spot transaction yeah all right the the, the gas place makes money uh-huh and then I guess the next guy who pumps gas has to stand in urine. Okay, Just I understand. Washing off with some gas, Why don't you no let big piss, deal. You know how they got that, those trash gas. cans at the at the gas oh, station? Let people yeah. piss in the trash can. That's, people would love to clean that out. The gas it's, station should have urinals between every agreed pass, pump yeah. station. They should have those half urinals everywhere. Yes, the guys can just stand in and like. Oh yeah, look around while you're pissing. Mm-hmm. We need public urinals that feed directly into the sewer. No problem. No fuss. It would help out all the fucking homeless people. Well. That's a bad part. Yeah. If there's some way I could hurt them, put a little, like, a quarter on it. <laughs> so they can't use it. It's snapshot. Yeah, right on their dick. Yeah, why not? All right, so I'm not going to listen to the whole episode yet. Okay. I just wanted to say that Vito's an idiot, uh-huh. and congressional term limits 
are two years long, yes. But um, term limits for the Senate are six years. Wait, did he just oh. get it right or backwards? He got it backwards. So, He's an idiot. So you're an idiot. Congress yeah. is known as a bicameral chamber. Oh, here we go. Unless he got it right. Did he get it right? Or are you trolling He's me? He's got it. No, of course you're not. Look it up. You're trolling me. <laughs> God damn it. Congressman. All right. It's so like Congress that. is two How's years. Congress? Senate is six. In England, you asshole. <laughs> make up the parliament. Fuck you. So, yeah, you're just kind of dumb. Uh, okay, 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 whatever. I got it reversed. Whatever. Fuck me. Uh, okay. Let's see one more, maybe. Uh... Oh, okay. Here's Eric July. Something about. Well, this is the one we already have. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I thought that was a voicemail. My mistake. Um, Wait, why are we, are we the Imagine Dragons of podcasts? Did you say that? I Let's don't know. See. Vito, what the fuck? Saying you guys are the Seinfeld of podcasts means that you're funny and your comedy is timeless. It's yes. a great compliment. Why in the fuck would you want to be the Imagine Dragons? Is that what podcasts? you wanted to be? Did I say they're, that? They're corporate it's, maybe. Garbage, Sounds like something you you'd want to be. Have shit opinions. I'm sometimes disappointed to call you my dad. I'm pretty call sure I didn't call us the Imagine Dragons of podcasts because I don't mm. think about Imagine Dragons at all. I can't Not even, even a little bit. I can't even Not name even an Imagine like Dragons song. Clocks? How's that one go? Uh, we are we are the imagine imagines of dragons. Like that's, that? not it. that's not how that goes. <laughs> Can you imagine a dragon? I want to be uh who who's who's saying kryptonite? I want to be those guys. <laughs> um, of podcasts. Uh, spin doctors. No no no. Hey one two. We got a copyright claim. What? Oh, oh we always get copyright you. claims. Fuck copyrights. If I go crazy, then would you still listen to oh, my podcast? Yeah, okay. It is the best podcast, and now we're gonna read super chats. Oh god. Guys, don't forget to vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. Thanks to all our supporters at back.by slash biggest problem and patreon.com slash biggest problem, where fuck? you can listen to the bonus episode that set a black millionaire into a Total retarded fit. fit. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest problem. He had a real millionaire too. moment after listening to our review. He is completely of... falling apart. Uh, he really thought this. I'm going to accuse these guys. He said something about Nick Rakita. Oh, I, mean, he's, he I have hates, a whole. He's mad at Nick Rakita. I have a 10 minute clip of Nick listening to Eric July. I'll probably listen to it on my show. Well, because Eric told everybody these two guys are trying to sabotage my business. Yeah. And we said, well, we're not. We just well, want to make fun are, of your comic Well, we are because your comic book. sucks and people shouldn't buy it. Well, yeah, the only no amount one should of buy fucking with your business comics. is telling people that your product sucks, but that's within... And it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. We're not running out and telling a troll army oh, Bro, to- stop breaking the fucking law. If you don't want <laughs> if you don't want to get sued by guys who own trademarks, don't rip don't fucking infringe on their fucking trademark. Just, I'm not selling shirts that say Mickey Mouse on it. It wouldn't be you someone else's fault if I got sued for fucking doing that. Did you would see- it? <laughs> I have the trademark for biggest problem in the fucking universe, don't I? It's called fucking step 1, bro. Google, protect yourself. Fuck you if you think it's our fault. It's yeah. nobody's fault. It's your fault. Just Figure out your trademark dispute, man. Figure it out. <laughs> Hi, Rucked our lawyers. Don't make YouTube videos like calling out, like just talk to their lawyer and like handle it like an adult. And he really thought, like, again, it's been, he told everybody in that video, he said, and I have more receipts. I got older receipts. I got older receipts. And I'm going to show you. I got a shoebox. And I'm like, receipts. and I'm like, all right, well, like, what else? What, what the fucking receipts yeah, then, bro? I honestly, I'm like, what are you talking about? Because I don't, I don't think I did anything. I want to know what he thinks I did. And now I'm realizing he doesn't have anything because I didn't do anything. He broke the law. Yeah. I didn't do, we didn't do anything. He broke the law. Not anyone else. Nobody else. It's just really weird that he's able to... He and he didn't even break a law I don't care about, like fucking doing coke. Right. Or, like doing drugs or fucking driving drunk. Like, you broke a real obvious law. But you are definitely going to get caught with. I guess what's driving me nuts is that his whole audience was like, he has all sorts of secret information on you guys, and he's going to nail you to the wall. 
And I'm like, okay. Fucking blow me. And I'm like, well, what does he got? And they're like, he's going to show us. And then you're going to be. And now he's never going to show it. And they're all just not talking about it anymore. I'm like, no, 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 no. What happened to the he has secret information bullshit? You can't just like stop. Be like, well, uh, that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, he's no, a pedophile. Very much does matter. <laughs> yeah. Don't change it to like, he's a fat pedophile. So I can say whatever. I want. No, you uh, okay. said you have secret fucking information. What is it? Tell me. And you don't have it, so just admit you fucking lied about having it, because there's nothing, because we didn't fucking do anything. It's infuriating. You don't have shit, man. That I had his entire fan base. There, they, I have so many comments saying, he's going to sue you into the ground. And I'm like, well, for what? What do you mean? Yeah. And now they're just like, well, that doesn't matter. He was never going to sue you anyway. I'm like, you all told me he was going to sue me. Now his fans are, you should work this out in private. You should work this out in private is what they keep telling me. I'm like, he's work the psychopath out. who says he has secret magic information about me. How about this? Eric July, if you have secret magic information about me, or don't... Kill yourself. <laughs> sure. Do that. <laughs> uh, Hang yourself in your empty warehouse. Run yourself over with your forklift. They're going to clip that. Like, <laughs> run, your, don't, don't run yourself don't over with your yourself. fucking forklift like, Roger, like uh, Roger Rabbit. Please who framed Roger Rabbit? Live forever. Oh, my warehouse! <laughs> when I killed your comic, I talked like this! Thank Eric you for July is dissolving yourself. in plot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Eric July to kill himself. Oh, character arc. I don't oh, want Eric July to die. Drowning in fucking inventory. I just oh, want him that to he can't stop sell. lying oh, about my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Coup for two. Thank you for not killing yourselves. Riley for two. Bunny. Tortoise for dick. Uh, gorilla. Stop, no, stop. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he also gave bunnies to Eric. Everybody gets a bunny. Zeta Quinksell for two. Bunny, thank you for not killing yourselves. Tortoise. Thanks. Kick him for a big $10 on the board. Dick, I'm sorry for not being able to send you the emoji of the rabbit and turtle combined into one single animal on Twitter a few days ago. It's a feature only available on Android and Google phones. Oh. Well, uh, way to Thanks. go, man. An absurd it's existence okay. for two. I'm here to see MF Doom. The God of Sleep 215 for $10. Billions of bunnies bound by a burning ambition. Bounce briskly, breaking barriers, and brave the battlefield to become the boldest of champions on their bouncy victory. Mm, you got chat. two. What is the champions one and the victory one? That You couldn't. Uh, yeah, you, you missed a couple. Uh, thesaurus uh, for those. What's, another, there, what's a B boy? word for victory? I don't know. On the boon. Yeah, bouncy uh, boon. Yeah, bound. Uh, uh, I don't know. Brits man for two. How much do an entire episode is called a prayer? Fuck you. Pop quiz for a big twenty dollars. I need another hot gas sticker. They're all out. You should have bought it before. Should have made them. Jarvo for six. Very cool show. Jacob Buckingham for ten. First time catching you guys live from the wasteland known as the UK. Thanks for making the night shift easier. Thanks. We're here for the working man, Jacob. Thank you. Sam Tums for two. Hi, Dick slash Vito. Thanks for the amazing streams. Hi. Thank you. You're Monster welcome. Monster Slayer for $15 even uh, with a picture of a bunny. Yeah. See how much he actually Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this, uh, I think we should open this first. Oh, okay. We gotta, it probably package. has a wig. Uh, Amazon has like a gift. Uh, here's Is how he note? made millions. Yeah. Was the There's a note. You read that. Okay. A gift for you. Ahmed says, here's how he made millions on his terrible comic. And then it says writing comics, a guide to writing comics. Wow. Scripting your story ideas from start to finish by Andy Schmidt. There's probably some good stuff in There's there. There's probably that some good stuff in here. Could help you out with your comic or anybody out with a comic. Fred Van Lente says this book contains invaluable insight and practical application from one of the best comic writers in the industry. Well, I'm already an expert myself, so I won't need access to this information. <laughs> okay. But uh, it does include uh, Let's, things we'll about check character it out. Arc. We'll check it out. See if Eric's... Also, a muscle shirt to show you he means business. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know who What this... size shirt is this? <laughs> oh, 5XL. That's probably for me. Okay. Will that fit? Uh, we'll can find you do out. an Eric July impression? <laughs> we know I can do an Eric July impression. It's perfect. Uh, let's see here. They made all the receipts the same size. How much shit did he send you in one box? I don't know. A lot of stuff. There's a bunch of muscle shirts in uh, here. Well, I'm not taking my shirt off on camera. Why not? Because. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's going to be better when I you're. I think it's going to be a snapshot. Uh, okay. Um, this is also. This says, Hi, Vito. 
Not so much a wig for your head, but this is an Eric July starter pack. Oh, maybe that was the first one. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, uh, it's... Oh, yeah. This looks like... <laughs> These better be werewolf gloves. Yes, they're... <laughs> Yes, they have claws. These are werewolf gloves, just so everybody knows. It's a werewolf glove. Uh, and then some sort of a box. Ooh, <laughs> Can't wait to see how this looks. <laughs> look at, pull here, put a, wait, put on your... Oh, I gotta pull on, on my, <laughs> my Eric gloves. That's how it looks. These are werewolf... <laughs> okay, now I know why you're saying these are yes, werewolf Yes, they're gloves. werewolf gloves. They're from a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> that is the animal. Hi, oh yeah, look at these arms I got. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta I gotta be using I gonna hit the weights. Let's put it and that he's way. He's got a hat. It. Yeah. I'll hear the mic. Uh, okay. Let me go back here. And test. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Check the chat. Make sure it's uh, going. Yeah. Can everybody hear us? Okay. Yeah, it'll take a minute. Okay. And then this, he said a hat, but I don't know. I don't know why the hat. Just Is a that black, a just a black hat? Does Eric? Does he wear black hats? He, has, he wears the Ripperverse hats, which I actually own one. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> all right. Sure. <laughs> Why not? What will you not wear? Uh, I guess. <laughs> does that really make it? I don't. You look more like a. You look more like a um, Linda Hamilton yeah. from Terminator Two, but I don't know about uh, a. <laughs> uh, real quick, make sure the audio. Just play it. Play it on yeah, this thing. So yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for the costume. I guess. Yeah. I don't know about the. I don't know about the werewolf hand. I don't know about the. Okay, it's going. The, it's yeah. working. I don't. We're back. Okay, so <laughs> I have an entire Eric July starter kit. I have my guide to writing comics. My cool. That was the best they could do for shoulder hair. Give me, give me those. <laughs> give me. I need to fix those. Give me a boa or something. Give you what? Give me, give me one of those gloves. Okay. How are you gonna fix it? Uh. Here, you read super chats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. All right, let's get back to the super chats. Uh, it's down. Yeah, we're all the way down. Okay, man, we got a bunch of super chat. Okay, monster slayer for fifteen with a bunny. Thank you, SB for two. One million billion more billion bunnies. Absolutely. David Gomez for five. Jesus, just put the logo on a black shirt. I don't want to walk around with fleshy mount on my shirt. Okay. All right. Tried to be creative. We'll have two shirts. Isaac Solomon for two. Call for to prayer for Josh Denny's car. R.I.P. car. 
Cool for two. The first line of merch should be the main logo. Yeah, I know. Treo Doug says, I'm sorry, Vito, but I need that shirt and it's great and I love you. Okay. I <laughs> hear you. <laughs> Preston asks for two. <laughs> Is bunnies a racial slur? No. Yes. Nate Ring for two says, I like the new glasses. I hate these glasses. And I only wore them because I can't find my normal pair. Uh, I got to find, I actually want to buy a new pair of glasses. I want big, big frames. An Evangelion glasses? That even get, I think they do have Evangelion Where glasses. one side's Asuka, another one's red. Yeah, or... red, blue, uh, parallel. That'd be hot. Uh, General Zeptic for 999. Hey, Vito, you should check out this brave soldier named Bone Face. Face. He fought for freedom and democracy in Ukraine. He has 36 confirmed kills. You'd love him since you support what he fought for. Okay, I, I'm sure he's a Nazi. I get it. <laughs> he's a Nazi. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> Borfis for two, the best T-shirt I'll never buy in the universe. Okay. Cots for big, 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 big $25. Talk to the ROTC guys about merch. They got a hookup at Gas where they just give a concept pick, and the team there runs with it. All kinds of colors, adjustments, et cetera. No warehouse needed. All right. I think that shirt's going to look good in black and white. You guys will see. We had a black and white mock-up that looks uh, better than the colored one. Monster Slayer for five. Australian Prime Minister Harold Holt was the greatest comedian in history. Why do I feel like that's a reference to something I don't want to know about? Dominic for two. House is two years. Senate is six. You are tards. I think Dick was trolling me. Just Elbon for five. Vito loved the shirt, but your face should show more pain if you're being raped from behind by Dick. It's not really what I was going for, but sure. Kick him for five. Vito, you're completely wrong. I know. I'm an idiot. Okay? Fuck. Everyone have to tell me I get everything wrong. Okay? So, yeah, 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 yeah. I looked it up, and I got it wrong. Uh, Zeta Quintz Excel for 50 big dollars on the board. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like this bit's getting away from us. Throwing this towards the call to prayer jar, hopefully we can convert these warehouse employees to the fluff side. We got to convert. Diamond G for five. Vito backwards on the shirt. Horace McGree for five. Cool show. Dumb username for 10 Australian. Dick, in the One Piece anime, the fat pirate lady forced her crew to call her beautiful, but Luffy calls her fat to her face, giving the glasses kid courage to her fat too only then does luffy help him so there's a fat lady in the one piece yeah but she's not fat enough what the actress in the show she was uh, yeah in the anime she was like super duper fat that would like mimi if she was like mimi from drew carey i'd be all in but it was just like margaret cho fat like oh yeah it has that sometimes okay i want to see how i look (laughs) you look great You yeah. look just like Eric July. Stop it. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that someday I'm going to be on a show and they're going to go, so you imitated a black man on your podcast. You did and, black shoulder. Yeah, you did black shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you regret doing black shoulder? Yeah, yes, I do. I, and I would never do black I shoulder again. I would never again. do it again. Uh, wet Bandit for five. I'd actually respect Eric if he had hired illegals to run his warehouse and paid them less than minimum wage. It would be the only way to beat 3PL. Yeah, paying his He's buddies. In Texas. Is... Why doesn't he pay a bunch of fucking? He can't because his buddies are shaking him down for money. I think they that's can... why. Yeah. Did you see he's starting a like, like a Tim Pool ripoff? Tim Pool, yeah, yeah. Politics house. Yeah, he's trying to get like his, his shitty his bass player like in on this politics thing. It's like, man, you just cannot. Whatever. Let these guys run over you. See, that's what people don't understand. Again, I saw Eric. Your made- friends are taking advantage of you, Eric. Eric made another video today where he's like, these guys are trying to destroy my company and their family. And it's like, I'm not you're an idiot. Your company sucks and it's going to go bankrupt because you're stupid. <laughs> well, also, I don't want to destroy your company. If anything, I think it's kind of funny how much money you take from these people. And Like, as I've said multiple times. Just run a fig campaign that lets people invest in owning a part yeah. of your comic book company. Don't bother with the comic. And then you don't even have to try anymore. Yeah. Then you just be like, well, I already got $10 million from uh, yeah. all these morons. <laughs> uh, dumb username for five. Watch the One Piece anime. All the women's boobs get bigger throughout the story. Oh. Even the fat pirate returns thin with big boobs. That's not going to happen in the live action, though. Uh, yeah. Well, they won't do that maybe shit. Maybe they will. No, nah, she'll come back black or something. I think the, the boobs of the actress look uh, acceptable. Plus, in real life, you can't make as good of boobs as you can make in cartoons. So what the fuck's the point? Jossum1978 for five says, How tall is Vito? I'm six foot, not at 295 pounds, and I don't look like a fat body like him. 38-inch hmm. waist, 54 chest. I'm six foot. Yeah, you're tall. We've stood next to you. We're like the same height. 
Uh, I don't know, man. Post some pics, Jossum. Let's what see you what you about? look I'm like. T- I'm not fat. I'm fucking totally muscular, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that looks disgusting. Let's keep those on the side. Uh, let's see. John Riffs for five. Bunnies working on item number two, edited edition. Please keep oh. this not a feud going on forever. <laughs> yeah. It's not a feud, guys. Rock and It'll roll. It'll end at some point. ISOM will end at some point. Eric will write a big... Uh, a big press release about how he learned so much and they made such a big dent in comics, but that he's got to shut the doors of the Ripiverse. It's just really weird the people he fights with. Yeah. Where I'm like, like that Vicky girl is nobody. I, I think so she listens to the show. So mean to her. I'm not, yeah. And I'm like, it's like, I'm not saying that in a way like, you know, like fuck her. I'm just like, she's like a thousand, like a thousand subscribers or something. <sighs> and I'm like, dude, I think if you're like, you know, like they call, they call her the shit that I've never <laughs> called women on. Like, oh man, I get that. Like, I, I think she's fought with a lot of comics gate guys. I get it. Like, oh, and she has. But it, like, yeah, like the comics guys can fight with her because like they have like small little campaigns. Like it's on the same level. It's like you're literally a multimillionaire and you're going at like some dumb lady who made from your comic goes like a couple thousand. Like just, just don't do that. It's so weird, man. Uh, That's the thing. He doesn't act like a success. A successful person doesn't act like this. A successful person. What does he goes, act like? Would you, if you had to sum it okay, up? Okay, well, let's just <laughs> Monster Slayer for five. <laughs> I can't possibly think <laughs> of any words. Can't catch me. Uh, I think oh, I missed. They wh- would love if we fucked that <laughs> up, but it's doing never that. gonna happen. Not coming. <laughs> Maybe a certain Shoo. Batman villain someday Shoo. can weigh in on one of the things. <laughs> Gentlemen, I only recently discovered you, and I'm better off for doing so. Love your energy. Fuck Maddox, July, and their BS lawsuits. Yeah. I agree. Monster Slayer for five Australian. Bible doesn't say anything about gay sex, but it does say to sacrifice your firstborn to Yahweh. It does. LP Dirty T for it's an two. abortion, isn't it? There's a lot of that. So that it should be mandatory abortions for Bible people. Can we get a Vito's Bible study? Well, you just got it here today. We're talking about golden hemorrhoids. Uh, Borfus for two. Nick Fuentes is an angel confirmed. I'm going to deny that. So Tree- cow- no, because the cow- he's saying, well, he's making a cowboy joke. I don't mm. approve of that. Well, oh. obviously, I can't not approve it because I approve of cowboys in general. So <laughs> I can't. I'm stuck in this horrible position where I can't judge Wait, anyone because I don't care what anyone does <laughs> unless they're making bad art. We're living in a. We're living. We're in being a, hypocrites. We're in. A, <laughs> I called into Ralph and yeah. I'm like, Ralph, I don't know how. Like everybody wants me to turn on you, but I don't know what to say because you behave in public exactly as you behave in private. Right. So there's nothing to really joke about. <laughs> yeah. The I. They're asking me to answer for Ethan Ralph, and I'm like, I'm like, look, man, I know Ethan Ralph. Like, you know, like you and Ethan Ralph are like good friends. I've hung out with Ethan like once. We're not like buddies. You don't even call him Ralph. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And they're like, you need to answer for what Ethan Ralph did, and you need to disown him. And I'm like, I don't even fucking, I barely know I don't the know fucking what's guy, going man. On here. He lives in Mexico. When do I see Ralph? Uh, yeah, everyone's uh. mad at Ralph for some reason. Trio Doug for five. Satan wasn't even considered the ruler of hell until Paradise Lost. Oh, Before yeah. that, he was just a jobber that got back the fuck out, back the fuck off, and sent to the cut cage for eternity. He was another god until he got. That's the, that's the weird lost. thing, man, is like so many Christians and Catholics don't know what, like the origin of it. They're like, yeah, it's in the Bible. You're like, no, it's fucking not. Hey, he's the ruler of hell. Yeah, he's uh, the no, ruler of hell. He's not the ruler of hell at that point. Well, there's point. that part where Jesus goes down to the ninth uh, circle of hell and fights him in the ice. And you're like, no, no, no <laughs> that didn't happen. Uh, Jacob Cersia for 500 Japanese yen. My comic, Mosis One. Oh. M O S I S is now available for free. AI generated art. And no drop plot threads. A oh. link to the PDF is in both discords. Guys, don't forget cool. to check out Moses. Uh, might uh, Mois- resemble. Uh, it's, Moses. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like another hero's name reversed and for some oh, reason. Oh, Moses. Moses. Maximum Impact Games for Five. Vito knows the that Bible story about Lot because of Brad Neely. Don't forget to credit your memes. Actually, I mean, I do know the Brad Neely video, but I just looked up crazy Bible stories, and of course, the uh, Lot everyone ones the knows the story of Lot. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's come not, on. Everyone knows the pillar of salt. Have to cite that one. He did shake his most uh, unsexing stick or whatever it is. I love Brad Neely, by the way. Gentlemen, sausage for five. Stop by to say it occurs to me that in order to get people to watch his Asterios hit piece, me- Maddox Road Wang's Enigma. His enigma. <sighs> Do you know where that's from? No. Maddox's girlfriend, uh, who's now his ex girlfriend, not her, another one, mm. uh, said that. Jess? Yeah, Metal Jess. She had this big meltdown saying that uh, I'm just writing Maddox's enigma. You were. Yeah. 
Uh, what did she think Enigma <clears throat> meant? Well, it's tough to say. <laughs> <laughs> did she mean like he's an enigmatic individual? And he's not. Enigmatic doesn't come from Enigma. Well, there does it. Uh, yes, but you certainly can't ride it yeah. unless you're. Uh, uh, Maybe the like the riders of Lost. I think be you, riding the. Enigma. I sometimes feel like you ride my Enigma. Oh. Sometimes, <laughs> and I, I hope you'll stop. Trio Doug says, "Loving this dark veto arc. Anyone calling you a pedophile should be put to the sword." Inshallah. They're, they're not going anywhere, man. They're just gonna. It's uh, gonna keep doing it. They're just gonna keep being little hate mongers, and I don't know if it makes some money, keep doing it. I guess. Why bandit for ten? Melanie Mag giving Bible lessons on Twitter is legitimate blasphemy. Here's a quote from the Bible. Women should learn quietly and submissively. I do not wim- let women teach men or have authority over them. Mm. Timothy 2.11 and uh. 2.12. Yeah, shut your mouth, woman. Lord Lelewin for nine seven ninety nine. About four years ago, Eric July released a video talking about how much he liked Miles Morales and how he's not just a reskin of Peter Parker. Yeah, these guys are all fucking hypocrites. Just Ebon for five Australian. I'm nervous about the anti-Semitic Torah bashing in this episode. Is this a result oh. of Elon going after the ADL? No, yeah, see, the Jews wow. are smart because I don't think I've ever met a Jew who's like, yeah, the Bible is like 100%. They're like, well, it's just more of a loose collection of stories, and uh, we learn from them. And Yeah. yeah. They don't go, and that's why we hate gays. We find no. Maybe like the real like hardcore like Hasidic Jews, but. Oh, yeah, they're fucked. Yeah. But that's yeah. like a whole, those guys don't hang out on the internet giving Bible study, man. They're just like a whole. <sighs> they can't do the internet. Sect. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. They're hanging technology. out at the wailing wall all day. Yeah. <laughs> when I went there, that's just, just like a fucking cavern of them. Have you seen the videos of them? The Holy Day is Saturday or Sunday? It's Saturday. Sabbath? Yeah. It's uh, Saturday. Saturday. There's the videos of them uh, in Jerusalem on Saturday. They just walk around. And if you're a storekeeper doing anything. They beat you? No, they just they just stand outside of your shop and they just go, ah, 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 and you're like, oh, man, guys, I just I'm just cleaning a window. Like I just gotta clean the window. And they're like, nah, I get it. And you know, they just yell at you until you stop. Jeru- Jerusalem is a uh, is a hellhole. Yeah. It's so <laughs> fucking dumb. Uh, I kinda wanna we go, should though. nuke. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. I rubbed my balls on the Don't wailing wall. <laughs> And the slab where they where they yeah. uh, inter where they butchered Jesus after they pulled him down off oh. the cross. I uh, saw a video <laughs> of some fat Jewish guy from Brooklyn, and like, if you go there, they just have a bunch of stuff. They like, it's like the stuff they just stole from the Palestinians. And then I got a picture of me going like this <gasps> on the wailing <laughs> wall. On the wailing wall. <sighs> you, like did an, you did an AOC. You did an AOC at yeah. the uh, migrant camp. Yeah, crying at the fence. Uh. I want free Palestinian territory, but I can't get it because I'm not a Jew. And I'm sad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Melanie Mac, uh, D- DJ for 10 Australian, says Melanie Mac is a 36 year old Christian woman with no children. God is good. <laughs> Lemon Trashy for two Why? says Vito, make a kid's channel and play with your Eva toys. I actually showed off some of my Eva toys on channel uh, a couple weeks ago. I got this cool little Mighty Max Evangelion playset. It's great. Panic pun for five. My biggest problem is there hasn't been a Monday Night Grift in a long time. I might move that to Tuesdays. I was finding out that, like, nobody could stream on Monday nights for some reason. That's why I couldn't get any guests. You got a bunch of shit going come on, on the show on Monday. Tuesdays are good, though. <clears throat> it's Yeah, Tuesdays are good. So I might try doing it on Tuesdays because I'd be like, hey, Tony Frag the movies, come on. I'm busy. Dick, mm-hmm. come on. I'm busy. I'm like, yeah, fuck. Yeah. I'm going to try Tuesday. Zeta Krenzel for two says, I'm a proud owner of the Evangelion Razor, Glasses, and Ring. Huh. That's great. There's a great commercial of, uh, you know, Shinji's dad who yells at him and tells him to get in the robot. No. Okay, well, he has a full, like, you know, angry goatee. Mm. And they made an Evangelion razor, and it's him, and he shaves off his beard, and all of a sudden he's not, like, a horrible dad anymore. He's all happy. And it's like, see, if you get the, the Evangelion razor, razor you won't, you know, psychologically torture your son and force him to It's like Harry's razors. Around. Yeah, it's okay. anti-woke. Mr. Gasma for five. You know when you're going to review the Evangelion series in the new movies? Go to the Hack the Movies channel and watch me and Tony's review of Evangelion 1.11. It was actually a really funny review. And he said, Tony said it was the worst rated one, or the worst yes, watched one. Because he made a shitty thumbnail. Oh. He put the robot in the thumbnail instead of the hot anime chicks. That's dumb. Always That's put dumb. the hot anime yeah, chicks. Yeah, he, he sandbagged you. You're yeah. right. You're right. I was like, Tony, I finally, like a week later, I went, well, yeah, because your thumbnail sucks. You should have put the hot anime chicks in Because your it. thumbnail sucks and you suck. And you suck. 
I'm always like, uh, whenever I see Tony uploads a video, I always like nag him. I'm like, man, that's a shitty title for a video. No one's going to click on that. Yeah. I think it's all mad. Uh, Coop for two. Ignore Vito. That NGE shit is dope. Thank you. Eric Wong for five. I don't know anyone who likes Evangelion who is happy with their life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Jack Rockstar for five. Gendo literally cloned his wife as a 13 year old girl, Vito. We didn't have sex with her. Is that the bad guy? Uh, debatable. Say yes. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's not a good guy. <laughs> Mr. Cool Ice is here for 50 for the Evangelion Rap Fund. Let's wrap it up, folks. Give, give me a quote. Somebody get me a quote. On an Evangelion rap, a porno a pre- version. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> I've seen a those little raps. bathing suit. How did they not get version. pulled over with some of that shit? I'm like, you can't have that on your car. <laughs> Big chunk is for it's two. Free speech, man. I hate to say it, but Vito looks less fat. Was that before or after I put on the wife beater? Uh, definitely before. Oklavich <laughs> 5. <laughs> Vito, who's the best girl in Evangelion? Don't say Mari. Mario doesn't exist. Uh, she is. So fake. therefore, she's best. No, fuck her. Uh, Asuka. Then Masato. Then oh, Ray. that's how you pronounce that? Asuka. Asuka? Asuka is. Yeah. Asuka? Asuka? If, if we were pronouncing it in Japanese, it would be three syllables. It would be Asuka. Okay. But the Japanese, you know, when there's an S, they usually push Asuka. it together. So they go Asuka. 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 See. Asuka so you longly. Wow. Ray, are you nami? Are you nami? Are you nami? Are you nami? That's my Shinji impression. Uh, let's see. Ouija board for five. Wait, isn't Nerve literally made up of PDF files? <laughs> Look. <laughs> is- I knew it. I fucking <laughs> knew it. I didn't even watch the dumb show. <laughs> I remember Masato kissing Shinji and promising more later. Okay, there is a scene where Masato kisses a 13-year-old boy and says, let's do the rest later. They <laughs> insinuate... <laughs> Okay, but you have to put it in context. Of, of what? Well, I'm not going to spoil it. For whom? <laughs> I'm not watching this pedophile shit. You should watch it. Me and Tony, we're going to do a whole uh, podcast where we watch every episode. You How big are her tits? Masato's tits are good. You would like Masato. Okay, that's fine. Masato's then. an adult woman. Yeah. She's not a teenager. Cool for two. Nerve is just German for nerve. Yes. Uh, Tristan Sweden for two. Adrian is cool and handsome. Jay Thompson for two, make Yellow Fast Flash your next R Stone. We're working no, on it. No. Sailor, Sarah Miller's husband, Mr. Miller for two. Dick, you're so darn handsome. Thanks. Handsome. I love you too, Vito. <clears throat> Melissa Baker for five. Here's five for Vito to buy anything he wants and Dick to mind his business. There's nothing wrong with collecting stuff. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, everything's wrong with it. I'm going to go on what not, buy some NES the waste games. of money. Whatever. We're all going to die anyway. Not enjoying it. Just he compuls- who dies, I mean, compulsively buying he it who to dies stick on a fucking shelf. the most toys wins. Huh. The worst part of my hoarding is that all this shit is in, like, closets waiting until I can get a bigger place and display it. Man, I keep going, someday stop. I'm going to have a place for all this stuff. This is an addiction that it you have. It is an addiction. you got to stop How it. you're not addicted to, like, fucking life-ending drugs? This is an addiction to cool toys and colorful things that remind me of a better time. First of all, drugs aren't life-ending. Some of them can be. Cyanide, perhaps. Yes. No one's addicted to that. Slim Willis for five says, pretty sure the Evangelion stuff I sent you wasn't even fragile, and I still use bubble wrap. Slim, Slim Willis sent me a bunch of Evangelion uh, stuff. What? I was Why? I going through it. Because there's a bunch of, they have these. Don't uh, enable this shit, sending you fucking toys. <laughs> they have these lotteries. Have you seen these? Take his toys away. <laughs> Come to his house. Steal them. It wasn't them. like anything <laughs> fancy. It was. They do these lotteries. I know, it wasn't fancy. It was a bunch of fucking anime you shit. You buy a lottery ticket and you're trying to win like an Evangelion figure. Uh-huh. But if you don't get the figure, you get like a door prize. So it's like a bunch of Evangelion like hand towels and stuff. Oof. Whatever, I want Sad. them. They're cool. Uh, turkey sandwich for two. His and his. Says it's... <laughs> Turkey Sandwich tries to get me to say TBF. Shut up. Neva down south for five. We need a warehouse for you guys. That guy, wait, when anyway, whenever someone criticizes you, you can say, do you even warehouse? You have a warehouse, bro? bro. I, feel Let's like see I'm, your warehouse. I feel like I'm having a stroke today. You even have a fucking warehouse, bro? I'm having trouble uh, reading some of these super... I think these glasses You can blow suck. it up. Here, give it to me. I'll blow it up. No, just hit control plus. What? What the fuck? Man, you don't know your keyboard shortcuts? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now you made it small. No, it's get control plus again. It'll skip back to the top. Right. See, you did it again. Stop scrolling. Oh, because I scrolled down. Yeah. Okay. How's everybody doing? Man, we oh, got a shit. lot of shit. There's fun. a lot of super chats. Everybody no, loves you're us. you're down too far now. Everybody loves us. 
All right, we need a warehouse. Got it. Case window for five. Stop saying Congress is two years. Con- All right. I fucking got it. Wet bandit for five. I just realized Maddox and Eric both have an aversion to 3PL. Didn't Maddox keep his yes. aversion racks yes, in his bedroom? Yes, he did. I also thought of that. <laughs> yeah. They both have a weird thing about needing to do shipping. Well, I have. I mean, I'm going to ship my stuff, but I don't have different. that much. Yeah. They have a compulsion of having max inventory and also controlling all shipping. I understand that it's fun to ship stuff, but once you have 20,000 orders, you got to be like, okay, well, this is too much. Uh, ASC Presents for $3 says, hire three doors down to do a super killer theme song. If I was super killer, would you call me Superman? Oh, yeah. Uh, was that three doors? That's not three doors down, is it? I don't know. Now I'm thinking of Third Eye Blind. I just know, I'll never be your woman. <laughs> <laughs> Shred 2010 for five. I always expect bubble wrap when ordering fragile things, though often they pack it with sturdy stuff. TBF bubble wrap won't protect records that well. Yeah, so. Well, they should have got a, the right size box then. They should have the smashed it. For te- no, no. They should have smashed smashed them all. Smash all that shit. That big shit. bubble wrap, that shit's great with the huge bubbles. That'll protect anything. Oh, yeah. Bob's the man for 10. Bunnies and tortoise interference. God of sleep for two. I don't know. Blame chat. David Gomez for two. Bunnies and razor blade. Oh, razor blade. Yeah. You gotta shave it. Christopher Marsh for five. Vito, can you stop being a woman on Twitter with all your emotions? It's gross. <laughs> I'm going through a very strange time in my life, folks. It's a transitory period. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks, Deal with everybody. me. I'm not getting into any more. We talked about any more beats. I had like really. remember when I had a mental breakdown because I want to be honest with people and I want to not just constantly have up this fake. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. Know, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was the best <laughs> fucking moment. And I said, you know what? I'm going through a lot. Thanks to everybody who's been helping me out. You uh-huh. know, there's a lot of people who fucking hate me for some crazy. I don't even understand it. Like, uh. yes, if you're fans of these retards, obviously fine. You can be upset with me. But like the vitriol of like, we need to end his life. I'm like, can I just not? I'm not a fan of your fave, your stupid biblical lady who gets on stream and goes, and the reason that the gays are working for Satan, I just think this is all tired 90s religious tribalism bullshit. I think the Eric July shit is all your stupid political. We gotta own the libs because they're making comic books. So you only demean their religion and their politics, right? That's 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 all you did. Well, I did say something about Eric July today that everybody apparently thinks is over the line. I don't know. What'd you say? Oh, that he grew. That at least you grew up with a dad. <laughs> he calls me fat. I make fun of the fact that he grew up in a fatherless household. I feel like those are equivalent exchange. I don't know why he's allowed to call me fat, and I can't say he grew up without a dad. That's like that's on par. No. My girlfriend says her favorite bit that all of us do, Ralph, you know, yeah. all of us, is when people are pissed at go, I don't even know what I did. I can't even know I'm just sitting over here minding my own business. It's not Eric's fault. I don't fault. even know why people are pissed it's at me. It's not Eric's fault he grew up without a father, but it's clearly the reason behind he his clearly made the right choice. Backlash. Yeah, if I was his dad, I would have ran for the fucking hills. Get his dad's review of I saw. I want, oh, I would kill for that. <laughs> oh. Please don't. We get to hire a please, private eye. Please don't find contact. Eric's dad. Don't tell him anything about <laughs> stop, the author stop, of a comic. Stop. Just get him to sit down no, and read the comic. No. It doesn't even have to be the real guy. We could just fake it because <laughs> no one would this. know. We're not doing this bit. Oh, I'm not going to that's find such a funny <laughs> bit though. <laughs> I'm going to leave Eric July's estranged father out of this stupid internet feud, okay? Cause he God, called you a pedophile. Because Dick, let's be honest, <laughs> has the thought crossed my mind? Yes. And I pushed it down because, come on, we're not, we're not going to do that. What do you think of this comic? I was like, I wonder if I could find his dad in the phone book. And I went, don't, you're not going that far. Come on. <laughs> It did it did I was struck. But we've already thunk it up. Nah, so we're not doing ah, it. What's no the difference? Di- I disavow that bit. It's too much. Uh straight beans for seven ninety nine. This morning my GF backed on my car, then drove off without saying anything. She probably doesn't even know. Yeah, she probably doesn't know. They never do. Joe Cool for two, Maddox and Eric's Legion of R words muted stream. The God of Sleep, oh, yeah. 215 for two. Gay Ops Audio. That's my dog. It. Eric July Arm Hair for a big 20 on the board. Hashtag Billion Bunny Army. I'm currently hiding in Eric July's van. I don't know which one. <laughs> they are identical. <laughs> JJ for two says, wow, is that Phil Labonte from All That Remains? Hey, this is more of a Phil Labonte <laughs> yeah. cosplay. He doesn't yeah. wear that. Lemon Trashy for two. Get some shoe pot. No, no, no. 
No. He wants to complete the costume. King N64 for 10. Vino, now you look like you're ready to sucker folks to send you millions on a comic. Mm. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a good comic. J.O. Ray for 10. Bob's no the freebies man in the for middle. 10. Don't have enough money to make a yes, free online version. R.I.P. Car <laughs> I don't know if Josh Teddy's okay with it. He was not happy that we talked about it on the show. So I think he's over it now, but he's like, did you really have to make our friendship into, into drama for the show? And I'm like, kind of. I don't know. Not all the time. I promote your fucking comedy It came comedy up show. organically. Yeah, it came up organically. And you're getting a free promotion. Josh Denny in Vegas this weekend. Yeah, go see on it. On the End Racism Tour. Tickets are still available. So please look it up and head on over. Not only will you see Josh Denny, but also... Uh, Gavin McGinnis and Anthony Cumia. And Asian Pat Dixon, is he there? And Asian Pat Dixon will be there. God, his things are so funny. He's he's fucking... He does impressions, but he has like a a, fa a face thing. It's so good. A land, yeah. Like a Snapchat To turn thing. into different celebrities. Yeah. Did you see his RFK uh, talking about Asians no. clip? No. I'll show you after the show. I laughed my fucking ass off. They were talking about like the... the I'll old, find it. Yeah, we'll find it. You don't it. need to show right. it to me. Joe Cool for two. There are where Those are warehouse... <laughs> Wolf gloves. <laughs> You're a warehouse. <laughs> a warehouse wolf. Ooh, it's a full moon, Eric. Ooh. Get in the warehouse. Time to invest in warehouses. <laughs> oh, give me your inventory. <laughs> oh, the warehouses. That warehouse is haunted. It's hanged. <laughs> That's why he needs to keep hiring employees. Is that the warehouse, warehouse keeps eating them. If he goes into the warehouse at night, he turns into a monster and kills them. Make his sure own you employees. ship all the copies I saw him before the full moon. <laughs> That's when the warehouse turns into a warehouse. <laughs> turns into a what? How does a warehouse turn into, turn into a, a warehouse. warehouse. A where? W-A. Well, I guess it's spelled the same way both ways. <laughs> Regardless, get out of here. Your lives are in danger. Why do you think I bought so many extra copies of ISOM so I can encase myself in them like a cage and keep myself trapped? Was that a joke about he can't spell or you can't spell? Werewolf. Spell it. W-E-R-E? -E? Yeah. How's whoops, Warehouse. Oh, W-A-R. Okay, you can't spell. Yeah, I can't spell. <laughs> Tool chest for five. Donation for Cruel Angels Thesis Tape Measure. I do want that. Verico for $13.99. Vito looks like a combination of Jon Snow and Samuel Tarley right now. Bunny Bunny. I'll take that. Dominic for two. Ripa in chat. Hi, Goldpost. Oh, Ripa Goldpost oh, is yeah. here. Getting I like some that guy. Clips. He, okay, sometimes he likes, somebody posted like a billion bunny, like the AI of like bunny soldiers. Yeah. And it was liked by Ripa Goldpost. <laughs> So I don't know what side this motherfucker's on. I posted screenshots of me that looked funny. And then he oh made a God, video that was like Vito's my face. Yeah. I, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I look like. It's and funny. He made the video that was like Vito's having a midlife crisis, and everyone's like, "Well, this is just like all of Vito's best bits." You know, he is. He's he. He just talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> Rip a goalpost. I'm gonna tell it's you. Like if like riding Dangerfield, somebody posts a face of him going. And he's like, How? <laughs> that's fucking very offensive to me. <laughs> Ripa, when my uh, Ripa Gold Post, when my comic is ready, send me a message. I'll send you a free copy. Dominic for two. Uh, I already said that. World Round Geohound is here for five. You two made my Friday. At my hammer on YouTube for Warhammer content. You guys are the Larry David of Edgy yeah, Podcast. Yeah, we're the Larry David of Podcast. I'll take that. That is better. ASC presents for five. Today, Alex had his second wedding in two years with the woman he married two years ago because he promised her one in the Balkans with that Ripa money, lol. Wait, what? So his CFO? Alex from the Ripiverse had a second wedding, and he's using all the money he's making from Eric's comic book for destination. Is that his bass player? The CFO? I think that's the guy who's running the money, right? Oh, I Alex really don't like guy? that guy. Yeah, why does he say anything? I, I don't just, see what he's saying. Just look at his face. I can tell right away. I mean, it's weird when your bass player goes, "Let me manage all your money." Yeah, some some weird there. God of Sleep for two. No, I'm the other god. Take a nap. White Panda for two. The Enigma owns the Niggler. Berserker for two. Richard make Vito do his comic in color. We're trying to figure yeah, out. Is it not? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't really. I don't care. Like some com comics that are in black and white are the same That's, to me. I guess it's it's like an, I'm I'm leaning towards color right now. I'm on the edge. Mm. Eric July arm hair for five. Rip a gold post is a loser. Oh my god. Oh. Oklavich for five. But Vito. then your colorist has to be like incredible. See, that's you can't do it yes. as an afterthought. That's the color has got to be the best part. That's the problem. Is most there's a lot of like battle chasers. That coloring in that is yeah. was fucking dope. Yeah, it's it's hard to find good. And Mo Judge Dredd has like a ton of colors. Yeah, does yours? I guess yours would have a shitload of colors. Well, it has to have a color style that fit. Like a lot of colorists in America do this like standard American color style that I just think looks like dog shit. Mm. 
So finding a good and there's guys who I like if I could get them, I would get them. But they're like, you know, pros and they're busy doing other shit. So. It's Go Goblin Slayer is black and white, isn't it? Yeah. Looks great. It does look great. It's 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 we're figuring I uh, we're going to figure it out. I like no colors, no drawings, just words. Yeah, That's just my words. favorite Why kind of comic. <laughs> I've, I, I, some people want me to color it, but it would take too long. Uh, Oklavich for five. Vita, write a cruel angel's thesis stinger for the show. Uh, I'll write a uh, Com Seuss or Todd uh, stinger. How's that? Isaac Solomon for two. Plus two dollars for the call to prayer. Josh Denny's car. R.I.P. Car. David Gomez for two. Rip a goalpost is a child bride dealer. <laughs> Drunken atheist studio for two. Bunny tortoise. Bunny tortoise. How much for the women. Coup for two. Gendo did touch Ray's breast during third impact. He was merging with Lilith. That's different. Ooh, Dumb username for two. Threesome. Masato also sent her photo of herself to Shinji. Oh, uh, that's true. She did have a photo with How old was he then? He was a 13-year-old boy, and she sent a photo of her bent over with an arrow pointing at her boobs saying, look at these. I'm trying to remember what kind of pornography was I looking at at 13. Probably Spice Channel, trying to, you know, yeah. meow, meow, trying to get the trying to get a clear boob. was looking at Evangelion pornography, so it all comes full circle. I don't think we had the internet when I was 13. Oh, we, I, we did when I was in middle school because I was printing out uh, hentai mangas on <laughs> during a, what do you call it? Free During period. fucking rest period, or yeah, free period, and then I would take construction paper and make like covers for them, and I had like, <laughs> so I was like printing out Japanese doujin on the inkjet printers and Jesus. making them into little like bound uh, things I could take home and jerk off to. The first uh, was like anime R2 pornography I ever saw online was the uh, these little fairies, yeah, that are like BDSM fairies. I remember I I that. I was like, huh, about. that's, uh, wow, well, well, that's strange. Looks was, very Japanese. Was that Japanese actually Japanese? I don't know. Because I, I, there was like some it American. Was like Usenet, like, when you had to download yeah. 64 files and then run a, a decoder on them to link them into one picture. The first anime pornography I ever saw was a looping GIF animation in the Flash game, oh, uh, Flash, Street wow. Trash, which yeah. for the longest time, like back when Newgrounds was new, it was like the number one Newgrounds game. Yeah. It was like a choose your own adventure where you walked around and like clicked on guns to shoot guys or whatever. Uh-huh. And you could take a hooker back to your room. And Ooh. after the hooker fell asleep, you could choose to turn on the TV. And there was a looping GIF animation of a cat lady getting railed. Oh, that that's where you got that cute shit thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then I finally found out what that's from. And it's from a Sega Saturn game that I now really want to buy. Because uh, I'm like, well, that was the first hentai I ever saw. But it's like, buy that. it's like a $280 like Sega Saturn game where half of it is a spaceship shooter and the half other is half is just girls getting, raped? girls getting raped. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a good game. The Japanese really knew you how to You got rape in my space game. <laughs> you got space game in my rape. <laughs> it's called Steam Hearts and it's really expensive. Uh, Michael winning for two. What's up with this weeb crap? We love it. I don't crap. know. Helios for five. I beat off beforehand. You don't need to end the stream. Fancy Necrozzi for five. Drugs don't kill people. Stupid mistakes kill people. What no, drugs kill five. people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Vito, don't worry. You're doing a better job reading Super Chats than that girl from the SOS podcast. I left a comment on that podcast. Guys, if you're going to take Super Chats on your podcast, hire a girl who knows how to read. God, they don't exist. What are ISOM's powers? Can he fly? Let's talk about <laughs> warehouses and warehouse related, related things. things. Thanks to Eric for ISOM, the International School of Ministry. That's true. That's a that's, that's a tro. true. That's tro. That's tro. That's tro. That's tro. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> that's true. Uh, Carlisle P. Did you say that's true? <laughs> no, that's true. No, that's true. Are you saying like that's true? That it's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it's very true. We're going to get canceled for this fucking episode. <laughs> I'm dressed as a black man screaming, that's true. You're dressed as a, were dressed as a warehouse werewolf. <laughs> Zeta Quinksell for two. Much love to all the Vito Files and Vito. That's a comic I want to see, the warehouse <laughs> werewolf. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> Jesus Christ for two. Vito, you're the first F to M that I've seen that's passing. Thank you. Oh, Drunken that's Atheist nice Studio of for Jesus five. Christ. Melanie Mack is borderline Westboro Baptist. That's what I'm saying. I don't get it. Why are all these internet people hanging out with her? She's just like a religious lunatic. He says, I was raised Catholic, and even they wouldn't celebrate a church a burning. Dude, it's literally only because she's like an attractive female that they go, oh, it is cool to wish death on gay people. I'm like, Jesus Christ. She's not that is attractive. Is that all it takes? Uh, no. 
Yeah, somebody said that she was joking, but I'm like, yeah, I don't. What's the joke? <sighs> it's literally their church burned down because they're gay and they deserve it. I'm like, yeah. where's, the, where's the humor? Okay. What's, the, what's the premise? All right, you got the setup. Where's the punchline exactly? I kind of get. <laughs> Gay people deserve. It's a. Ve- I get. Okay, it's a joke. No. It is a very mean spirited joke. Right, and we make mean spirited jokes, but we don't make them at the expense of like. I no, I do. Yeah. but I'm a really bad person. <laughs> Right, you're not preaching yourself as a child yeah, of God. Yeah, that's, that's the, a that's big the difference. I'm like, oh yeah, I think it's. I mean, I think it's funny too. But if it was Chrissy, I'm a real if bad it was Chrissy guy, Mar, who's like a legit like comedian, who's like, well, that's what you get when you fuck with God. I'd go, oh okay, yeah, she's funny. like a good yeah, comedian. Funny, but then like you know, Melly Mac turns around. Okay, and we're gonna have Bible study this weekend. And this is why, and I'm like, huh, well, this is why you- gay people are burning in hell. Like, <laughs> is that a part of joke? <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, well, hold on a second. Like if a gay orgy like you actually... fell on Melanie Mack and killed her, I would say, ha yeah. ha, that's what you get. But that's because I'm a bad person. And, and let's be real, I, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> like, it just wasn't. Yeah, no, it she wasn't. She literally was like, this, these gay people's church burned down because they're gay. And that's what they get. And yeah, I'm like, oh. it's a joke if you don't really think that. Right. Like, how much do you really think that God did that to punish them? No, like, she genuinely thinks that's what, what God yeah. is punishing gay people yeah, by burning that's, their shit. That's interesting, too. Yeah. yeah. So you can't say it's a joke when you believe it. Yeah. That's, that's Agnostic Uzumaki for five says, Vito, you're not looking like a fat Inuit anymore. Keep uh, it yeah. up, our slur. Good job. God of Sleep for two says, TBF, I don't care. And the God of Sleep for 20 says, have more money because alcohol. Boom. Thanks. Abuse, I think he meant to type, but he's so drunk that he couldn't handle it. Put a bunch of pairs of, uh, a bunch of bunnies in what looks like a pair pants. of pants. Pair of pants. Uh, we got a couple more <laughs> super chats here. Dumb user neighbor five. The type of color you choose is dependent on the type of paper you'll be printing it on. Ask Doug Tanapple about it. Mm. Jesus Christ, Doug. You, uh, there's so much to consider. Dumb user neighbor two. G taste spunky night bondage. Yes, fairies. that was it. Uh, the fairies. Bondage fairies. And yeah. that, I remember that uh, spunky night one too. Man, what a fucking trip down memory memory lane that is. G taste is some good shit. I don't know about that one. Oh, I, I definitely I remember have... the, the spunky night. The I remember that title. <laughs> So when I was a kid, we went to New York City, and they have a Japanese bookstore. Yeah. And they had the G-Taste books, which are just a bunch of, like, Japanese business women being forced in uncompromising situations. Mm. And as a 14-year-old boy, like I'm having like... Having to be quiet during a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I purchased them and put them in my backpack, and my uncle was like, let me see what you just bought there. And I went, No! <laughs> And it's still a very embarrassing memory of buying pornography, and my uncle definitely knew that I bought <laughs> pornography. And I was like, I just don't want him to get damaged. I don't want to take him out of my backpack. Why is he being such a prick yeah, about fuck it, you. though? Fuck you. Let me buy fucking- uh, That would quantum ha- leap into little yeah. boys. Like, why don't you mind your What'd own you fucking there? business? You get? I should have said that. Where's your fucking blue chew, bro? <laughs> Joe Cool for five. Richard, what do you think about the very accurate Mexican representation on the Dodgers? I am also a bean. I haven't uh, seen this. I don't- I don't know what you mean. I'm not really a sports guy. I'll accidentally see Dodger stuff, but I don't see Kadat. Kick him for two. We love you, Kara. Kara, moderator to stars. Dumb username for five. The Newgrounds game you're talking about, Street Life by Will Stamper. Stamper TV on YouTube. Oh, I know that. Skeet Fighter 2. Yeah, that was, he was the king of Newgrounds back in the day. Dwab Winkle for 10. David Pac-Man went on that weird Will It Print channel, My Life is in Shambles. Oh, wow, Pac-Man. He only made like three fucking episodes of it. And JJ for two, lol, Vito asking someone where the joke is. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) All right, these are the last ones, everybody. uh, No, that's it. All right, Gotta Sleep for Two. I spelled also incorrectly. Gotta Sleep for Two. No abuse, it's consensual. Guys, don't forget, vote on all the problems. The biggest problem that show. Superkiller.org. Get a copy of my comic book. Find Uh, me a hentai wrap for Vito's car. Find a hentai wrap for the car. Evangelis. Bonus Evangelion. episode, Biggest Problem and Ice Sum 2 at patreon.com slash biggest problem and back.by slash biggest problem. Live show, end of the month. Tickets are sold out. So fuck uh, you. So fuck you, though we may go to the bar afterwards, so if you want to be in the area. I'm definitely going to the bar. Yeah. I was thinking about Friday, like doing like a meetup or something. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, Let's see. Know. maybe like an impromptu. Like I don't want to be all shit faced the next day for the show. I'm well, too you old have for to that. Drink like a fucking moron. Why don't we go to like the? I was uh, gonna go to like the arcade or something. I mean, I'm doing. 
not only drinking, I'm doing drugs. All right. I'm not. All right. You know, I'm not. I'm not saving anything up here. I'm just saying maybe we'll have. I might. I might try to figure out. I'm going out to jail like one of these Friday days. Thing or something. I'm not taking the plea. I don't know if Dick's gonna be there. Take the plea. This has been the biggest problem in the universe. And don't forget, respect is the most important thing in the world. Bye. And if you don't get it, howl at the moon. Howl, werewolf. Howl. You have it like a shawl. I know. It's not working at all. <laughs> That's great. Oh, all right. Bye. Careful. There's safety pins there. <laughs> well, you safety pinned it on me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Well, you think I just laid I just it there? I thought I was just laying there. What do you think I was doing back there? I have no fucking idea. All right. Bye. Bye.